Star Report. I'm your host, Star. Welcome to the show. Sunday, late afternoon, early evening, wherever you may be, okay? My show title and topic is not trending. Just some things that have been running through my mind over the decades, if you will, okay? Also, uh, my showrunner, DJ Envy and Cesar Pena, now officially being investigated by the DEA, the Drug Enforcement Administration. Look in my community section. I can show you better than I can tell you sometimes. It's right there on the DEA's website. Hoo chow! Envy, run, girl. Run. That's all I got to say right now, okay? But do we live in a computer uh, simulation hypothesis? Uh, for those who don't know, and most of you should, a simulation hypothesis proposes that humans experience as the world is actually a simulated reality, such as a computer simulation in which humans themselves are constructs. Now, you've heard me say on multiple occasions, and many of you know this as well, the difference between humans and animals is that humans, we conceptualize. Animals are instinctive, okay? That's the main difference. We conceptualize, they are instinctive, okay? But now, um, there's things that lead me to believe, you know, without subscribing to the theory of God. As you know, I'm an atheist, but I'm, I'm also an objectivist. I do believe in something. I am not an existentialist. I do not support existentialism. But there are things that lead me to believe or to wonder about the repetitive nature of things. The, the constant... <laughs> idiotic and, and insane things that we do or experience or that we see, you know, why do we go at war with each other? Is it really just over religion or, or territory or resources? What makes us repeat these things when we know, when we know we've learned and we've passed on to generations and we've learned from generations before us what not to do? Are we living in a computer simulation okay um phone lines open right now give me a second guys i want to just lay some more of this out uh because this morning i was sipping my caffeine oh i was having such a great conversation talking to myself as i do answering myself driving <laughs> sipping the caffeine <laughs> and i was just you know going over a lot of things that you know i've learned from um uh, a lot of authors from the golden age of sci-fi you know i'm a sci-fi reader, a, 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 uh, a film lover, an enthusiast, and so on and so forth. But um, the simulation hypothesis, this is a theory, just like um, string theory and other theories with regards to our existence. Are we reaching, or will we, pardon me, will we reach a pinnacle of human existence? Or will we continue to do what we have done hundreds of years ago, thousands of years ago. Also, let me just say this early uh, with regards to people who are considered to be bipolar or depressed. I'm not too sure if bipolar, being bipolar is a bad thing. When I was coming up in the 70s, there were many kids who were high strung and a lot of them turned out to be the most intelligent, <laughs> you know? Um, what are all the terms now? ADHD and all these, all this other stuff. Uh, you were just, you know, very extra. You know, they they weren't trying to inject you with fucking shots and give you Ritalin. I, I don't know when that started becoming a thing. Somewhere in the, in the late eighties, the nineties, I forget. But um, bipolar people and people who are depressed might they be the ones who are actually enlightened? Might they be the ones who are actually enlightened with regards to this, you know, simulation that we could be a part of? Maybe they figured out that it's all bullshit. I mean, it is all bullshit. <laughs> could I get an amen early? Is it all bullshit? <laughs> you, you, you know where we're headed. <laughs> Death, you know, at some point you... You think you need to get married. Oh, we have to put that on the table. Marriage, 
children. One of the reasons why I don't want to get married is because of I don't want to get trapped like a fucking rat. No matter how much I may like someone, I'm never going to love someone more than I love myself. I'm past that point. <laughs> but I just, I see the sad reality of child support. Isn't that part of a simulation when you know, you know that is going to be the end of you, that beautiful little life force, those little eyes that for some reason you want to create or help create, pardon me, those eyes look at you and then it, they break you. <laughs> let, let me just say this, uh, not, not to sound too crazy, but uh, you know, I like dating uh, women who, who already have children. They can have three or four kids. I'm the one who says, hey, look, you want to take your kids to Chuck E. Cheese? You want to go to a Six Flags? And they're like, really? Like, yeah, bring all the kids. <laughs> Over the decades, I take women, you know, girls uh, uh, to Six Flags or wherever, to Hershey Park, Pennsylvania. Kids go crazy. I'm having a good time. <laughs> the movies, whatever. And then at, at, toward the end of the night, send them home. And then I go home. <laughs> No responsibility, because I know that in the simulation, if you get too connected, <clears throat> excuse me, your life is fucked, all right? Okay, sit tight in the phones. I see a couple of people tapping in. Um, hold on a second. Oh, Big Elvis, the chef, are you out there, sir? I sent him an uh, email earlier. He said he wanted to get in on this conversation. Elvis has always been saying on the Star Report that he believes we are living in a computer simulation, Okay. Um, Blade, I got your donation. He says, oh, Neil deGrasse Tyson says we might be a simulation. Okay. He's a very knowledgeable man. I, I catch him from time to time, you know. Uh, thank you for your donation. Uh, Muhammad, peace, Muhammad. Are you tapping in, sir? Okay, thank you for your support early. Uh, Jamal, I got your donation. Mm, mm, mm. Okay. Okay, do you want to call in, sir, and, and explore that? I mean, Sundays I like to go a little, you know, a little deep, you know, deeper than deep. And I'm not going to say pause, you know, but call in. I got your donation. Thank you so much. Hold on a second. Uh, Maurice, are you tapping in, sir? Okay, Maurice from uh, who, who does reglazing on bathtubs. Call in, Maurice, you know, join the conversation. And crown, crown, 1023 birthday tonight. Let's go. Okay, is it your, your born day crown? Call in, man. All right. Call in, all right? Okay, let's go to the phone lines. Uh, let, let's explore this. Let's explore this. We can come back to everything with regards to Rashawn Casey and the other things um, tomorrow, all right? Area code 313. Good afternoon. Good evening. Are you there? Good afternoon. I am here. What's going on? What up, though? Hey, how are you, sir? What's cracking? I'm all, I'm all right. I'm all right. I'm all right. I just called because of... Uh, not, not so much about the simulation, but you were talking about it. as society goes on, do you think crime is going to get, like, better or, or whatever? You know what I'm saying? Like, as you see, man, we just going, like, it's getting worse and worse. Like, and, and, and criminals and murderers are getting younger and younger. So, no, I don't think, I don't think, I mean, I don't think things are going to get better. It's, 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 it's just going to continue worse. Guns are getting, are getting more uh, tech, uh, modern, modernized. Because back in the day, you had a K, it, 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 it'll hold 100. Now they got guns with switches that that that, that are spit fast. You feel me? So mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I don't I don't I don't see things getting any better. Stay with me. Stay with me. Uh, do you think that we um, are becoming desensitized because of social media? I mean, I mean, listen. I'll even admit. I mean, I I don't want to watch reality TV. I want to see somebody get get hit in the head with a fucking meat cleaver to to get some real <laughs> to get some real excitement. <laughs> Uh, that's a good point because social media is definitely um, <laughs> like really like the internet really is kind of made. Sir, sir, let's go slow. <laughs> I'm, I'm sadly I can admit that reality. I don't want to see hip hop videos. I want to see somebody catch a slug in the mug on on a Thursday on a Thursday morning. I want to see somebody get their shit split to really be and, entertained. And, Come on, and that's. But listen, and that's my point because you want to see somebody get their shit split, and that's that's normal. And now, with that being said, like it's 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 kids and people growing up, they they quick 
to put the uh to, to pick up a gun and really split somebody's head. You know what I'm saying? Because you really want to see it, and now it ain't now ain't, just, ain't no more thinking about it. It's all about action now. Yeah, yeah. So the question, the question: Do we live in a computer simulation hypothesis? You don't have to you agree see, with I, me I, because I don't know. I'm just I'm asking you. What do you think? I see. I didn't want to see. That's why I didn't want to get into that with you. But no, oh, I, I, I believe this is it. I believe this is real life. I believe in God. I believe in Jesus and all that. I know. I know. I know your stance on that. You know. That's why I didn't. I didn't uh, come off and talk about that with you. You know what I'm saying? Because I, I got respect for you. But no, this hey, this is real. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and all that. You feel me? I don't believe well, sir, I appreciate what you've just said, and I respect your belief. I'm I'm not one of those people who says, "Oh, you you stupid because you believe." No, I respect your belief, sir. So, so I have family members that that, you know, they claim to be believers. And when we get together from time to time and we sit down at the goddamn table, I troll them fast. I, I'm the one that says, okay, who's saying the prayer? Who's saying the prayer? Let's go. And, and if they don't know the prayer, goddamn, I say the prayer. <laughs> you an asshole, for that. <laughs> I, I know it's midday. I try to test, man, but you an asshole for that, Yeah, bro. yeah, you're right, you're right. But but now, hang, hang on, hang on, hang on. Um, You are a believer, yes? Yes, I am, for sure. Okay, okay. With all due respect, um, the image of God. If 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 we live in a computer simulation hypothesis, or we can even take out the word computer, do we live in a simulation hypothesis, which in reality would be a a, a mathematical, a very intense mathematical equation and or code. Mm-hmm. Why why are we still dealing with cancer why can't we regrow a limb if we lose a limb why do our eye why does our eyesight get worse as we get older if mm. if if there is a creator take your time no rush take your time please i mean if i could really think about that because we right now this this part of life is a physical form so we're only here for for a short period of time and that's the way god set it up for us to come here go through life, be baby, then uh, grow old. Or some, some people don't grow to be old, but, but live and, and die and whatnot, you know? And, 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 that's, and that's the way that God set up. And, and, and while we're here, we got to, we gotta, you know, we got to do, you know, just live. Like, I don't want to get into a whole pre, pre-sermon, nothing like that. Okay, but while okay. we're here, you know, we got we to gotta, we gotta do, we got to do right. I'm not a whole saint, you know what I'm saying? But okay. we got just, 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 to just do right. And then, like, when your time is up, your time is up. And, okay. and, and, and the reason why people... Okay. Like my goal, or some, or some people may can walk. I appreciate the call, sir. No doubt. Cool. Let me ramble for a little bit because, um, you know, again, when I'm zooming in the morning off that caffeine, I'm, I'm talking to myself, I'm answering myself. I reached the point of being an atheist by way of a rational awakening. Not by way of any hardships. I am an objectivist. I do believe in something. I believe in myself. I also believe in mankind. That mankind will, at some point, find the origins of our existence. I do believe that. I don't know if I'll be around to see it. You know? But do we live in a simulation hypothesis? There are things that I have to look at and say, hmm, why does this keep happening? Are women really beautiful or are they just wicked temptress of seduction? We think if we wife them, we are going to make them a righteous woman. However, hundreds of years ago, there was a reason why, according to most scriptures and doctrines that they would burn them at the stake or that they would stone them or tell them to cover yourself, cover yourself. Are they really beautiful or are they temptress of seduction? And, And what do we have now in terms of genders? Is, is there really more than two genders? <laughs> or, or are we just living in a fucking simulation hypothesis? 
<laughs> and life has no real fucking meaning. <laughs> Hang on a second. Something else I'm going to put on the table here. Um, folks, in case you don't know, I love gospel music. I like praise music. I, I vibrate when I listen to gospel music and praise music. It's just it, the, the vibrations. Does that make sense? Okay, they're saying something that I don't, don't necessarily agree with. Well, many of you are rational and you listen to, uh, whether it be boom bap or, or hip hop, where they're talking about shooting, killing, and smoking people, and ski ye, and bust your head, bust your head, bust your head. But that music moves you. It touches you. You vibrate on that frequency. Area code 614. I know I'm out there right now, but I'm, I'm enjoying the conversation with myself. Are you there, 614? Do we live in a simulation hypothesis? 614. Uh, good afternoon, sir. Uh, Big King from Ohio. Hey, man. Can you hear me, or do I need to change my mic? It sounds a little crazy. Are, are you in a bathhouse? Are you driving? Respectfully, where are you, sir? I'm actually driving. Is that better? A little better. Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> a little better? Okay, so let's do it like this. Let me pull over because you're not out there. You're actually on to something Come on. Uh, pretty profound. Come on. And I believe that if we had this conversation more as human beings, we would be in a better place. Um, first of all, uh, when you talk about uh, simulations, we're talking about frequencies. We're talking about uh, patterns. And when you begin to look at the frequencies and patterns, the first thing I want to touch upon is the thing a moment ago, you said, have we seen some of these things before? Yes. Such as our relationships with women, our relationships with violence, our relationships with war, our relationships with society. Yeah. And see, that's the thing that scares people in this conversation. And I'm a believer, but I'm going to get to my beliefs in a moment. But um, what scares people in this conversation is when it starts to seem like it's more simple than it is, people become more in uncomfortable. But the people that understand our responses to the complexities, that's when they can control and mold society. That's why you see similarities between the United States and Rome. That's why you see similarities between ancient artifacts and African histories. Mm. These things, there's nothing new under the sun, really. And may I ask you a question, sir? Sure. Have you ever heard of the Fibonacci sequences? Yes, yes. You know, I, I had to do a lot of research to reach the point where I've been at for, you know, decades. I didn't just become an atheist overnight. I mean, I, uh, I became a, an objectivist by way of hardcore, intense research. There's many forms of religion and um, uh, physics and other things that I had to at least get a basic understanding of, even if I don't know the full scope. So, yes, to your question, um, and, and you are a believer, you said. I just want to make sure I heard you. You're a believer. Yeah, yes. yeah. Come on. Uh, yeah, and, and I'm an objectivist as well. I like your perspective on it, on okay. being objective, and that's okay. why I'm attracted to your message and your show. Okay. Now, if we're a believer and we believe created, there is, there is again, Frequencies, when people think about frequencies, you think about microwave, but let's just make it simple. Frequency is some pattern, right? So if our most high is a creator and he created something as intricate as the Fibonacci sequence, which that very same pattern mathematically and physically are all the way down to our fingerprints, the cellular structure, the, so the shape of a universe, to the shape of a galaxy, to the shape of a molecule, all of those have the same Fibonacci sequence in them, similar to the same patterns that you would see in something like a video game, like GTA. How does your console or your PC, or your PlayStation, your Xbox know you're playing GTA? Well, the sequences, the patterns, the programming. So the same thing with our creator. Sequences, patterns, and frequencies create all of us the same. My heart can live in your body because we're a part of the same frequency on that level. So 
if, we- if I can jump in for a second, I'm enjoying the exchange. Um, yes, sir. Uh, I hear you, but I do not. Um, 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 what you're saying is your your belief, you know, uh, that's your belief about yeah, yeah. creator. Yeah. And, and, and that's that's I, I respect what you're saying. I don't agree. I have my coffee today. Too, bro. Okay, that, with that's you. fine. So I don't agree with you, but I'm letting you speak. But let me just say this with regards to you keep using the term creator. Improbability is not evidence of design. You know, I can know I cannot mm. disprove. Uh, the existence of a God, and, and sir, respectfully, you cannot prove the existence of a God. So we agree to disagree. But let's no, go. we agree. I, I I agree. I'm cool with that because yeah, I'm, you're right. You're, you're absolutely correct. Like me as a believer, I, I because I'm I'm under I've surrendered to that. I understand that what I respect in that in order for somebody that I respect that. Yeah, yeah. If, 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 if I can say the whole hold on a hold on a second. I can respect yeah. that because I had a female who I liked. I didn't necessarily love her, but I liked her. We liked each other. And, and she was consumed by the theory. And she said to me, this is back in the early 90s. She said, I know you're a non-believer, she's Troy, but I am compelled to be with you. Compelled to be with you. I said, well, shit. Yeah. Who am I to say? Oh, okay. Who am I to say? <laughs> You're wrong. <laughs> you know what? I'm going to talk to you about that in gospel music, sir. Mr. Turing, come on. Come your 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 attachment to the frequency of gospel music right, right. is um, proof that we are frequencies. So compatible frequencies oh. are not ex- are not. You can't explain them. See, you could care less. Like you mentioned yourself, you could care less what the content of the gospel music is. It gives you a certain type of energy, a certain type Feeling. of charge, or a certain type of vibration. Feel vibrate. Right? Now, h- hang on, hang on. Before before we go too far, I asked the question years ago: Is God a frequency? But with regards to the music, the music, I believe that it it it's you know it it moves me, and and we we may be simple simply vibrating off of that. Go ahead. And you're absolutely correct. I agree. And I want to explain why I agree and how I agree as from my perspective. Go ahead. All right. So frequencies are real. Frequencies cause different behaviors in animate and inanimate objects. So the people that use the frequency that gospel music is set to, they're using that frequency for whatever purpose that they want. So the frequency is unbiased. The, the user determines how it's given out. That's why you can get the same feeling from instrumental gospel music as you do from non-instrumental right. gospel music. Right. You know it's gospel music yeah. because of the use of the frequency. But also the split a nigga, excuse me, excuse my language, split somebody head music, <laughs> uh, bust somebody to the white meat music. Right, right. <laughs> the, that that same frequency. Right. No, th- be- that's a different frequency, sir. Sir, that that's a savage. That's a savage frequency. Don't it is, but it, don't put it that on the, pre- the uh, frequency of praise music. Praise music, gospel oh, music, yeah. you know, uh, hip hop, different frequencies. Go ahead. <laughs> but, but that's what I'm saying. If you if we begin to categorize these frequencies, they can be used either for good or for bad or indifference, right? right. So it would seem weird if a if a horror movie was playing gospel music, but with the right imagery during a co- gospel music scene, it can scare the right, hell out right, of you. Right, right, right. So right. it really depends on how it's being used. But everybody has these different ways of experiencing it. Yeah. Uh, and that's why it's used during holidays and ads and stuff like that. You can manipulate uh, the human uh, being because we receive frequencies differently. Uh, and, and you speak on the uh, autism. And well, the- so, so I hate to cut short. I have to take other calls. I'm getting backed up here. Uh, I want you to finish up. I appreciate your, your input. It's just a question. Oh, I, we're, we're, I don't know if we live in a computer a simulation of, 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 of hypothesis. I'm just asking. Go ahead. Please finish up. I believe it's a simulation that we can, we can prove that it's a simulation, but we can't pr- prove the origin. Okay. Thank you for your time, sir. Thank you, sir. Yes, sir. All right. Good call. Good call, huh? Do we live in a simulation hypothesis? Anybody want to call in and talk about string theory? Guys, in my community section is a post from the DEA, the Drug Enforcement Administration. 
They are now investigating. They say, never mind what I say, never mind all these other people with their opinions. Oh, some people are biased. Some people have a, you know, uh, they're trying to get jobs with iHeart. <laughs> had a girl send me an email just, how dare you? You know, I, just, I said, oh, okay, I didn't even respond. But um, the DEA, the Drug Enforcement Administration, they are now looking into the Ponzi scheme, Cesar Pena, Rashawn Casey, and folks, they, they were at the iHeart offices. That is a fucking fact. Read the story. You can go to TMZ and see that they were there. People are trying to say, well, they weren't raided. Well, they were there. They were there. You may not like the word raided. They were there. But anyway, in my community section, um, the DEA is now involved. And for those who don't know the difference between the DEA and the FBI, let me just read something to you here. The FBI is a primary law enforcement agency for the U.S. government charged with enforcement of more than 200 categories of federal laws. The DEA is a single mission agency charged with enforcing drug laws. The ATF primarily enforces federal firearms uh, statutes and investigates arsons and bombings. But the DEA is now involved. Thus, the reason why you see uh, Rashawn Casey's uh, wife scrubbing Instagram posts and things of that nature. They know what's going on. They're not going to tell, you know, the public, oh, no, nah, no, nah, it ain't nothing. Not. Oh, it's something, all right. And it's in the community section, all right? Chime in if you like. I've got the notes, you know, but I wanted to just go over this on a Sunday, this uh, theory. Do we live in a computer simulation hypothesis? I'm, I'm not sure. I don't know, but I'm just, you know, I keep, <laughs> I keep, Seeing things happen over and over and over. And I'm like, well, God damn. <laughs> Why am I looking at Carly Russell 2.0 when I know good and goddamn well Tawana Broly did the same thing? Have I lived too long? Am I spoiling the simulation hypothesis? Ooh. I should have been out of here years ago, <laughs> to be honest with you. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on a second, guys. Let me go to um, uh, 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 Cash App and PayPal. Hey, Tara, thank you for your donation. Uh, Star, do you have PSTD? Pina is a dangerous man. You know, I've probably got a lot of stuff, Tara, but I just, I never went to, to, to the doctor to say, hey, can you give me some medicine uh, for this or for that? Or, or uh, I need therapy. Therapy. No, but anyway, um, to answer your question, uh, PTSD or PSTD? You said PSTD. Um, hey, the, the, the DEA is looking into the case, okay? Thank you for your donation. Uh, let's go to area code, uh, pardon me, pardon, Wicked Hebrew, you're calling in, sir. He says the double slit experiment proves this is a sim. Well, sir, today is a day to call in. Okay, today's the day to call in, chime in. Drew Who got your donation. GTA and drill music is some of many simulations. Uh, there is a guy. Mm. Blade says, Star, if there is a God, then he's a sadist. Okay. Hold on a second. Uh... Okay, someone sent me their latest video. Thank you so much. Barrington. Barrington says three genders, male, female, and bussy. Pay attention. Okay, are you a believer, Barrington? Does your creator make mistakes? How do we get three genders? With all due respect. <laughs> Chromosomes clearly point out that there's <laughs> only two. <laughs> but what do I know? Area code 203. Uh... Good evening. Are you there? Two zero three. Good evening. Can you can you hear me? Yes, sir. How are you? Who's this? Um. Yeah. I'm. I'm. I'm a. I'm a young man. But um. I mean, my my. Sorry. <laughs> this is crazy. My my only experience of um, uh, like the string theory and and there being multiple dimensions, is um when I was taking drugs. Okay. Um. There's a phenomenon 
there, there's phenomenons like when when people take DMT or they take mushrooms or they take mescalines, they they have like shared visions mm -hmm. that they see. And um, when I was traveling through South America, um, I, I took some mushrooms and I saw a, a vision of something that I didn't recognize until I, I read about it later, mm -hmm. learning more about the culture. And and so when you when you ask, are we in the simulation? Um, I, I don't I don't know, but I think there's things that we can we can take or we can do to tap in with mm. each other, uh, like like music or or like drugs, where we can tap in with each other and connect to some like maybe the developers or people on a higher level of the video game that we're playing. That's it. Stay with me. Stay with me. You, uh, how old are you, sir? I'm I'm 25. Okay, you're a young man, but you're you're very knowledgeable. You know. Um, the word drugs, you know, um, America likes to use that word. Uh, and, and if America, the, the U.S. government and others can't um, capitalize on something, then they consider it to be uh, an illegal narcotic. Uh, alcohol is a drug, but you can purchase it, right? Once upon a time, there was prohibition and they didn't want you buying alcohol. Uh, marijuana, cannabis now is uh, legal in most states, and, and it's pretty much pretty soon going to be available to everyone. Uh, the same with cocaine, heroin, and other things. Um, I agree with you. I agree with you. And the natives of this particular land that we live on, or in, at one particular point in time, the peace pipe and other things, they would uh, utilize th those natural herbs and and other things to 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 tap in, so to speak, to uh, uh, the 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 other side, shall we say, or another dimension? Are you up to speed on that? The 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 natives smoking cannabis and why they did it? Uh, no, no, I'm I'm I'm. So I I know that I know that one of the ways that they kind of tapped into the other realm was like um, physical pain. So so they would like attach. Sorry, I'm kind of a sadist. That's okay. Uh, they would attach. Uh, nails to like their nipples mm -hmm. and and they would they would hang from a from a pole for days on end and go through dehydration and but I, I'm, I'm not I, I've never heard much about the um the cannabis them using cannabis N notice to notice into that level. notice I'm not laughing at you I'm I'm, I'm you know I'm, I'm listening to what you're saying um many musicians who have created you know Classic albums were, were were on something when they created those those great uh, works of art, and they have admitted to this, and that's why a lot of times they'll look back and say, "Yeah, I was high as shit when I played that solo," or "Wow, I I can never um, perform like that again because at that particular point in time when I was in the studio, I was you know shooting some heroin and uh, I, I was uh, inspired uh, from another level." Um, so, so let's go back for a second. You are an admitted sadist or sadistic? What'd you say? I didn't catch that. I, I mean, I, I think, I think that like, um, I think pain can help us tap in into other realms. Um, I, one, one thing I heard growing up was like part of the magic of of our of our of our melanin is that like by we, we take the pain and we try to transform it into something else. Like we try to make, whether it's food or music or, or whatever type of, you know what I mean? Like what, what's happening in Haiti, you know, as part of them taking their pain of their experience and their, you know, life and turning it into, I, I don't know nothing about nothing, but. Well, uh, it, it, that, that's a general uh, pain. Uh, you, when you say you are a, what'd you say? What did you explain your pain to be? I want to make sure I quote you correctly. Ma oh, my bad, my bad. I'm not sadist. Um, I meant masochistic. Okay. I'm, 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 I'm masochistic. So okay. I, okay. and I, be I believe in the power of masochism. You, you like, I, I believe you in like inflicting pain or receiving pain. Be honest. I'm not laughing at you. <laughs> this is funny, but I don't. Um, no, sir. This is serious. It's a serious fucking topic on a Sunday. We'll get back. I mean, to, I, we'll I, get I, back to DJ Envy and Caesar Pena tomorrow. Do you like inflicting pain or receiving? Keep it real. Do you like to be gently spanked on your bottom, or do you like to, you know, do something to others? Keep it real. 
it, all, all of the above, man. I mean, how how could you how could you how could you like receiving if you don't know what it feels like to give or vice versa? You know, you gotta. I'm not on no bussy boy stuff. You know, we're not there yet. So, so I I, but, I, I uh, didn't accuse you. We're just we're talking about. Do we live in a computer simulation? So so now when you are when when you partake. In, in, in this, you know, a uh, 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 celebration of the flesh, yeah, so, so to speak, you know, are you oh, man. are you the 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 pitcher or the, or the receiver? Keep it real. I'm not laughing at you. Uh, pain pain is a dance. Okay. Pain pain is a dance. Okay. And, and so when you when when you talk about you know leading leading the dance, okay. it's it's uh is it's less when when you talk about giving or receiving, I think that's a simplification. Okay. You got you got to be bigger than that. It's more complex. It's more it's more know, complex. More complex. Okay. Let more, me ask you a question. Hang on, hang on, hang on. We're gonna we're gonna get through this and finish up. I appreciate the call. Now, when you, have you have you ever used psychedelics? Star, have you ever used psychedelics? Yeah, not really. I did some mescaline back in the eighties. That wasn't my thing. I was never into mushrooms. I, I, you know, but, but hang on a second. Hang on a second. So you're twenty five. You say okay. yes, and you're into pain. Is just... You're into pain. Never ayahuasca. What's that? Never ayahuasca. No, no, no. So you're twenty five. You're into pain. Now, now on the weekends, do you go cruising and find yourself a stranger, and then you guys? Go wherever, and then you 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 get that gratification. Then you snap back into reality on a Monday and go back to work. Keep it real before you go. Do I, do I, I mean, I I don't I don't I I think I think it's um I so I I do sports. I do combat sports. Right. I'm a I'm a fighter. So so when I when I talk about when I talk about pain, I talk about like getting into the ring, somebody hitting me. I'm hitting them back. Yeah. I'm I'm talking about uh, working out, running up a hill. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about like going to to boxing practice. Mm -hmm. That's the type of pain that 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 we that we support. Okay. That we gotcha. you know. All right. But that's that's pain. Like why would why would you want somebody to hit you in your face? Well, that's it. You know. You are. It makes sense. Okay. Hey, I appreciate you, man. Thank you for the call. Thank you. Thank you. Please. Yes, sir. Thank you. Okay. I don't want to push him into that dark area. You know, he already said he he doesn't mind uh, being, what, what did I say? Gently spanked on his bottom. He's, he was cool with that, you know. Purr. <laughs> yeah, we're having a discussion this afternoon, early evening. Do we live in a computer simulation hypothesis well let's take out the word computer let's take that word out of there you know and we live in a simulation hypothesis when people think of you know computer simulation oh the matrix you know <laughs> that matrix four movie was trash the first three were good you know but um um Hi, Varnell. I got your donation. Thank you so much for tapping in. Uh, CVR, are you calling in? So where is CVR? Um, okay, okay, okay. Isaiah, got your donation. Remind Lions fan, Ravens smashed they goofy ass. Ooh, okay. That was, what was that, from last week or a couple days ago? I forget. Mm, so the Ravens gave the Lions that work. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Isaiah, for your support. Okay, okay. Um, Herman, I got your donation. Star, do you believe that Charlemagne will testify? Um, I, you know, sir, I don't want to just say things to say things. I have been going by hardcore evidence, you know, um, and facts. At my age, you know, trolling is fun. But th this is a very serious situation, and, and the DEA is now involved. It's not just the feds. The DEA is involved. So um, I don't see anybody trying to keep it real, so to speak, you know, because we're talking about people's livelihoods, um, poor judgment. Um, there's other things I could say, but, um, you know, that's not my main focus today. 
Do I think Charlemagne will testify? Well, here's the thing, sir. I don't know how old Charlemagne is, never met him. If he gets subpoenaed, subpoenaed, and he doesn't show up to that, you know, uh, subpoena, if it's, you know, for, to testify, they can arrest him, sanction him, depending on how bad they want whoever is involved in the alleged Ponzi scheme. Does that make sense? Thank you for your donation, okay? Um, Blade says, yes, things do seem to repeat like how certain cultures have been repeatedly expelled from every country on earth. Okay, Blade, you're trying to go there. Thank you, Blade. Thank you, Blade. <laughs> Let's stay focused, okay? Um, Go back to the phone lines here. And I see you guys via PayPal. I'm coming to you right now. Sit tight, sit tight, sit tight. Let me go to area code 929 first. Good evening, 929. We're having a conversation about a simulation hypothesis. Are you up to speed? 929. Absolutely. Peace, peace. How you doing, brother? Yes, How you sir. doing, King? You good? I'm good, sir. But please yeah. don't call me brother, sir. Please don't call me brother. Absolutely. Other than that, Absolutely. We're great, sir. How are you? No problem. Go ahead. You had mentioned you had said that why does it keep repeating? So I, I would I would think now first of all do I believe in simulations? I'm not going to say I 100 percent believe in it, okay. but I would say it's a strong possibility that they exist. Okay. You had mentioned about why does it keep repeating? I would say because those that are in power, those that have found the secrets to life, those that know things that took place in ancient days, they have the power and the opportunity to constantly program us. We are constantly being programmed. Okay. Every single day of our life, we're programmed from television to radio to media. It's just a constant thing that's constantly happening. So when you look at simulation and you look at like in the Air Force and the NASA, before, before astronauts are going to space, they put them in a simulation. That's almost a video game right. where they learn to experience that feeling mm -hmm. in a simulation before you're actually going to the real reality. So, so I would say, yes, it's, it's, a, it's a, a strong possibility that simulations do exist. Now, it's all about do we believe in it and do the people as one totally believe in it because that's where we are caught up in a, what you could say, the Matrix. I mean, Sophia Stewart back in the 80s wrote The Matrix and Terminator. I don't know if it's true. That was never proven, sir. H hang yeah. on. She never proved that. She was supposed to go to court. She didn't show up. I mean, she claimed she did, but she never went to court to prove it. Yeah. Right. Go ahead. Yeah. I, I understand you 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 you're a man of, of facts, yeah. and that's one of the main things why I totally respect you from day one. You you of all entertainment and entertainers, you probably are the only person that ever educated while entertaining. Thank you, and that's something that really makes you a threat. So thank you. So at the same time, yes, she hasn't she hasn't proven it, but star, come on, bro, come on, brother. Like, sorry for constantly calling you brother, but bro, like like let's be honest. Like these people that control the world, they really can change. Reality with a snap of a finger because they're dealing with billions of trillions of dollars and they are very influential. So, right, yes, right. she hasn't proven it, but who's to say she didn't, she didn't get tapped on her shoulder or get that cord in the shadows to tell her to fall back? So, if I can jump in for a second, if I can jump in, she, go ahead. she, did, go not, ahead. she did not prove that she wrote The Matrix and, and, and The Terminator and, and other sci fi uh, um, uh, screenplays. However, I'm not saying she didn't. I'm just saying she had her day in court and she didn't show up. So, so we don't know. But there is, in my opinion, a strong possibility that so Sophie Stewart did construct that work back in those days during, right. during that time, you know, coming out of the golden uh, 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 era of sci-fi writers and other Philip K. Dick, Philip K. Dick, pardon me, is one of my favorite writers, and he's the one that put on the table. I think it was either seventy-eight or seventy-seven that we could be living in a uh, 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 simulation, computer simulation. So it makes sense to me that she could have right. she could right. have you know uh, uh, authored that work, but she didn't prove it. I just want to say that. Go ahead. No, I, I I understand. I'm just saying that there, there's things that go bump in the night. Right. The boogeyman is real. Right. I mean, when you go to William Cooper with the tail horse, you know, that, that was a book that was like taboo when we was growing up in the 80s. Like only the OGs and the older guards had that book. But, you know, William Cooper was ahead of his time and he yeah. was talking about simulations back then. You know, so when you look at it 
the way it's not. Now, now, if you mind, if I take it to another level, because you want to talk about envy, I mean, like I said, the only person in entertainment that I can say really, really educated while entertaining. Now, I'm going to go back to when you was on 105, and I, I, I listened to you faithfully every morning, getting up, going to work, okay. and there was one episode, and I really respect that you brought people that didn't really have the, the, the knowledge or the experience, and you gave them opportunities, like the little young boy from Yonkers, or that was on point. Okay. And you had that one episode when you spoke about skull and bones. Mm. And the next right, right. day, you was taking up the radio. Yeah, I was suspended. Now, they used the, <laughs> I was suspended. <laughs> right, right. They, exactly. They used the angry situation. Yeah. The angry situation yeah. of you saying, oh, uh, Kelly, your daughter. You saying okay, they don't, don't repeat that. Now, hang on a sec. No, no. We, we were talking about true, 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 true. We were okay. talking about skull and bones on yep. hot. On, hang on, hang on, hang on. On Hot 97. But now hang on a second. Um, do you have knowledge of self? Who am power, I? power. Okay, so you are a, a member of the Nation of Gods and Earths, yes? No, I'm not. Okay. I grew up around them. Okay. As, as a young okay. homie coming up in the streets okay. of Brooklyn. Um, I learned a lot from them. I learned a lot from them, you know. Um, and, and, you right. know, uh, they were pretty much, n not to put them on the same... Uh, path as Reverend Ike, but Reverend Ike spoke about God being in you, Reverend Ike. Reverend Ike, you know, wait, wait, okay. long before um, um, Creflo Dollar and 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 and, and TD Jakes. I, I, li <laughs> I like TD Jakes swag. Creflo Dollar was was pushing a Rolls Royce in the seventies. He's the one that said the best thing I can. <laughs> yeah, he's the one that said the best thing I can do for poor people is not become one of you. Jay Z got that from him, but anyway. Okay, go ahead. You you were saying uh, yeah. we were you were talking about um, I, I I I lost my train of thought. Okay, you were saying finish up. No, no, I was just saying that when you brought that topic up on the radio. Now, mind you, you got millions of people, millions of listeners. That's influence. You got people waking up every morning before they go to work or school, listening to what you have to say. Right, right, right. You know, and, and not to just jump something. You you taught, and I'm gonna say what you taught me. Like you taught that on radio. You could play the same music that's being played, right. but you don't have to play the whole song. You play one right. one thing for a second. All right, enough of that trash shit. And you put another. Mm -hmm. and, and that was given knowledge that you know the game, and a lot of people wasn't doing that. So you was teaching us growing up and giving us the game. Yeah. When you spoke about skin and bones, those people in the shadows that control shit, right. that can tap a shoulder and change your whole reality, was like, we got to get them off the radio. Okay. So when okay. you talk about simulations, that, that's... that's so I need you to finish up on our title. Yeah. On our To finish up on our title, are we uh, okay. living All in right. a simulation so, so, so I would say, hypothesis? Please. Right. So I would say we're living in a simulation possibility because there are people that control the narrative. Okay. And as long as they can control the narrative, they can make the possibilities and realities of anything down to the water is taking okay. place. The media can say whatever it is, right. and the masses are going to believe it unless you can think for yourself. Okay. I so, got to go, man. Way, so I got to go. I got to go. Thank okay. you. Got to go. Got to go. Thank you. Okay. <clears throat> yeah. Folks, uh, if you're just now joining me, today's show is not a trending topic. It's just you know, something I think about from time to time. <clears throat> Do we live in a simulation hypothesis? I don't know what happened to uh, Big Elvis, the chef. He said he was going to tap in, but uh, maybe he's busy. Either way, I am prepared to carry this conversation. Um, Deeds, I got your text message. Thank you so much, guys. We have um, um, some specials going on with the merch. If you purchase any merch from the Star Report, send me a screenshot. You will get three weeks promotion in the community section okay and if you have a banner we will put your banner at the end of the show when the jazz is playing if you don't have a banner we have to charge you for the banner okay but if you purchase any merch okay from the star report send me a screenshot and we'll promote you for three weeks in the community section okay yeah indeed says we have the brand new concerned citizen merch available now thank you deeds Are we living in a simulation hypothesis? Uh, what else did I want to put on the table here? Um, okay, I spoke about the image of God. War. Is war really about religion, resources, and territory? 
Why are we fighting for territory? Do you, do you know how much land is still available on the planet? <laughs> Why are we fighting for certain regions? Why not just give certain groups, cultures, or people their own goddamn state? Why are black people in America still suffering? You know, trying to get reparations. Give them the goddamn state of Nevada. Okay, you don't want to give out um, cash payments. Give them Nevada. Give them Nebraska. I just got back from my road trip. Uh, I, was, I was on uh, uh, the Amtrak, a three-day Amtrak ride. Holy shit. Give them Montana. Anybody ever been to Montana? Do you know how much land is, available land is in Montana? And they're not even farming on it. <sighs> Guys, one of my sponsors on the screen, dub, 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 I hate everyone.co.uk. Check them out, tell them I sent you. Uh, let me go to... Um, PayPal, uh, 105 fam, got you donation. Uh, yo, star, put a hot one. Oh. <laughs> okay, I don't know where you're going. You're talking about suicide. Um, I don't subscribe to the hereafter. No, I think when you're out of here, you're out of here. Eternal darkness, you know? Unless you know something I don't know. You know, I mean, I, I've uh, cryogenics piqued my interest years ago. I don't know. The hereafter? Can, can you give us any proof? Thank you for your donation, 105 fam. Uh, God Mode 369, star knows the holy scriptures better than so-called believers, and the simulation is splintering. Well, I had to study these scriptures so that I could, again, reach the point of where I'm at, you know? Filthy Puerto Ricans tapping in. Uh, get those two goofy beige spicks the fuck out of here. Okay, he's talking about Envy and Caesar. Thank you for your donation. Tommy, I got your donation. Hey, Star, I think you are my father. My mom told me she had sex with you in a bathroom. You told her uh, you was Reverend Run. <laughs> okay, he's trolling. Um, how old would that make you be? That, w that was a, when was that, 2002? Okay, so you're in your 20s. I don't want to be too graphic, but um, yeah, I, I did tell her I was Reverend Run, but um, you know, and I don't think I'm your dad, but thanks for, thanks for the, uh, uh, the donation. Let's go to area code 332. Good evening. We're talking about uh, a few topics here. You up to speed. 332. Hey, afternoon, Star. Can you hear me? Yes, sir. How are you? How are you? I'm, I'm, I'm all right. Um, I'm glad you dropped off the word computer to simulation. Yeah. Um, I definitely do think the human, the human experience is a simulation. Okay. Um, just for the simple fact that everything that we perceive as being solid, it, it's really empty space. So just from, from that aspect alone, okay. it's, 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 it's a simulation that in our mind fills in the gap. Not sure if you noticed the Nobel Peace, the Nobel Prize was given out for physics recently. Mm -hmm. um, some, some work to do with the Addo second. I haven't kept up. The gap. I, I haven't kept up, to be honest with you, because th that has become uh, infiltrated, you know, with regards to um, yeah. money. And, yeah. You know, it, yeah. It used Mainstream. To, and, yeah. yeah. Never, it used yeah. to mean something 30 years ago. But go ahead. You were saying, go ahead. No, but um, no, no, I, I agree totally. But I feel like the one that was given out recently, it's, it's people that made some, you know, big, big uh, achievements and at the quantum level. And I, I think we might actually get closer to, to being able to answer your showrunner's question if we're a simulation or not, because we're actually soon going to be going into the era of quantum computing. So that, will, that might bring things full circle. So once they come out with a theory of everything, and, you know, that, that will, you know, bridge the gap between the, you know, the grand universe scale and the quantum level, we might know a little bit more things. But um, the human experience... Quantum physics? Is, we're, we're, we're already yeah. there. We're already there, quantum physics. Yeah, but yeah, yeah, but there's still things that they don't understand. Yeah. Um, again, you know how the the, the time, how, how time, um, or or how time is, you know, perceived by particles. Mm -hmm. You know, superposition. You know, all these things. 
you know, the duality of, of particles being in two spaces at once, these are still things that are unexplained at that level. Once we get there, we'll, we'll probably bridge the, gap, bridge the gap a little bit more. But I want to ask you about entropy since you were talking about... Well, hang, hang on a second. Hang on a second. I'm, I, I'm, I'm enjoying sure. the conversation. When you say... What do you say if we get there or when we get there? You said when we get there. When we get there. We'll, we'll, we'll definitely get there. When we get there. I'm not too That's sure. I'm, I'm not too sure. I, I think that we will... What? Hang on, hang on, hang on. I think that we will discover the origins of our existence. But when, yeah. you, when you say when we get to understanding something, I don't think. Mm, OK, OK. I don't think that I it's in mean. the best interest of the masses yeah. for us to really understand things. I mean, you, you always want to keep the masses, the 85 percent, the deaf, the dumb and the blind in the fucking dark. Would you agree? <laughs> oh, I, I definitely agree. And, and and it seems like with every discovery they make in the universe, it just it adds more complexity to it. And the truth is that much more, you know, cloudy. So and, and the truth is a burden, you know, and, and everyone shouldn't know the truth because they probably can't can't bear it. So uh, I, I totally agree. But we're definitely in a simulation. Just, just the human experience is a simulation itself. I don't even think we're really individuals. Mm. Our physical selves is such our physical selves are is just a minuscule part of it's all about our energy. It's all about our frequencies. Was, We're all just, just the fact that we have. I was have about mass, to say. I was about to say. Away. I was about to say. Are we energy beings? Oh, e easily, easily. The conservation of mass and energy. Everything that made made me has always and will always be here. My physical self, but you know the energy that has coalesced into this. What I perceive a, phys a physical body makes me me. But there's nothing really unique about anything I could touch on myself. It's, it's everywhere. <laughs> it's going to be somewhere even after I'm gone, whatever that means. So, yeah. I but think while I'm here, I'm giving off a frequency. And I, I'm, I'm, I'm making sure that I vibrate a certain way yeah. and that I influence others to vibrate a certain way too. So, yeah. yeah. I, I, don't, I don't think, aside from the fact that we conceptualize and animals are instinctive, I mean, that's what separates us for the most part. I don't know if we're really that fucking special. I mean, there, there's animals. We're not. There's animals not. that have two hearts in their fucking yeah. rib cage area. And then and, and there's uh, reptiles that can fucking regrow a limb. If we lose a hand, yeah. that's it. <laughs> yeah. I, th Come have on. you ever, I heard that crocodiles are, crocodiles don't actually have, they don't actually die. They could keep getting bigger. They only die because of, <laughs> you know, mortal injuries, but if left alone to their own devices, they'd live forever. So we're really not that special. I think we're just an attribute of Earth, just like how yeah. Saturn has rings, Earth has, has humans. We're not really that special. Yeah. I'm, I'm serious. I, I, I want to regenerate some fucking body part uh, to really feel, feel, <laughs> to feel special. <laughs> yeah. Come on, come on. Come yeah, on. We're, not, we're not special. We're, yeah. just, we're just an attribute of, um, of Earth. But now, getting back to entropy, though, um, don't you? I thought it only applied to you know physical matter and energy, but I'm starting to realize that it applies to relationships here on Earth. My relationship with my mom was simple at first, and now it went from a, a simple to a more complex state. The the, the relationship with amongst friends, mm. they st everything starts out so simple, but it gets infinitely complex as time goes by, or what I perceive to be time. So I think that kind of relates to what we're going through. And the simulation too. That's another thing that repeats itself always. Second law of th thermodynamics. It's always there. It's everywhere. It's, I, I don't. I can't think of anything. I more. can't be. I, 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 yeah, I can't really uh, be of assistance in that area because I enjoy. Look it up. No, 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 no. I, I have an understanding of what you're saying. I'm saying I cannot be of assistance with. I can't partake in that part of the conversation because I enjoy discarding people after a certain point in time i don't want to stay in but contact. why do you feel the need to discard hang them hang on hang on hang on i don't want to stay in contact with people from 40 years ago from 30 years ago unless okay. unless okay. unless we grew up together in scotch plains new jersey people from scotch plains yeah. when i was going through my formative years most, yeah. of, most of those people are like family i love reconnecting with them but people who I met yeah. in the 80s and the 90s, I don't give a shit if we ever Forget about speak it. again. Forget about if it. If you're yeah. a female and you never pushed out mm. a fucking baby by me, I bitch, I don't give a fuck about yeah. you. I hear you. Especially hear if, you. if you got gray edges now and hammer feet. Bitch, get the fuck out of <laughs> here.
<laughs> Collapsed arches, yeah. Get away. Yeah. Go, go ahead and finish up, finish up, finish up, finish up. Oh, no, nah, that, that, that's basically all, all I wanted to say. Again, we're, we're not as important. Aliens don't exist. And um, PayPal um, contribution on the way. Thank Thanks you, man. Again. Salute. Enjoy Thank the rest you. Of your day. Yes, sir. Thank you. All right. Hold on a second, guys. I want to make sure I'm promoting my sponsors. Maurice, are you out there, sir? Folks, make sure you check out HudsonTubs.com. I say again, HudsonTubs.com. This man does incredible work. Tell him I sent you, okay? Restoration work. He'll even help you uh, with regards to getting a unique and an antique tub for your home, all right? Also want to make sure I'm promoting uh, another sponsor here uh, soon, but let me just let that ride for right now. Um, I want to tell you now about my new hobby, okay? I have become an official bird watcher. Anybody into bird watching? I picked these up yesterday. Got them from Walmart. About $80, $90. I forget how much. Binoculars. There's a lot of different birds uh, where I'm at here in New Jersey. Stone Harbor, seagulls and other sorts of jazz. And, and the, the squirrels are like all through my yard. And, and I'm cool with that because I feed the squirrels and the feed terrorize. Pardon me. The squirrels terrorize the, the birds. <laughs> <laughs> I was up in uh, Walmart testing these out. <laughs> and then I caught myself and said, let me put these back in the box because, you know, just on, on that. It's not like a weird, a weird thing to do if you're not watching birds and people see you with fucking binoculars. They think you're some type of peeping Tom. I'm a bird watcher now. <laughs> then watching these birds in my backyard, yard, pardon me, and I just, I enjoy it. I, I can't even front. I enjoy it. Um, hang on a second, guys. I'm sipping and I feel great on a fucking Sunday. King Simon, peace. I got your donation. Peak King Simon says, Sophie uh, Stewart says she wrote a book uh, that they, the directors, stole from her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know the story. I'm a, I'm a sci-fi reader. You know that, King Simon. I was somewhat sort of rooting for her back in the days when I heard, oh, okay, we, we, we have a black woman that wrote uh, The Matrix and The Terminator. Okay, let's go, girl. They gave her a court date and she didn't show up. Um, you know, the, the, the prominent authors of the, the golden era Science fiction, many of them, I've read their work growing up. Um, oh, man, so many. But, um, you know, uh, uh, Philip K. Dick is one of my favorites. A very um, extravagant writer, you know. Oh, oh, pardon me, King Simon. King Simon. Um, I know you've heard of this woman, and, and maybe you knew her. Uh, King Simon, do you remember Carol Taylor? She wrote the book, The Little Black Book. Black male survival in America, staying alive and well. Carol Taylor. Remember, she used to be anybody uh, from like old school New York and you used to ride the subways and there was a light skinned woman and she would get on the subway or the subway platform and she would hold that book up and she would she was selling it. Is she still alive? That book, that book was was deep. Thank you, King Simon. Okay, he says, I can't come on this time. I'm busy. Okay, well, thank you for tapping in, okay? Uh, okay, what's up? So I had a quick question for you. Let me take this call, guys, and then I will come back. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. There he is. Area code 954. You there, sir? Crime skills. Good evening, crime skills. Good evening. Good evening, sir. Good evening. How are you, man? Good to hear from you. Good evening. Good to hear from you. Likewise, <clears throat> um, 
It's um I don't you say um are we living in a um simulated simulation like simulation hypothesis I don't, I don't know i'm just you know kicking it around i, I have my uh, uh opinions but uh you know, i don't know i don't know it's it's reality okay the elites are trying to um flip the script okay. rewrite the script to to, to make it seem as if it's a simulation, but it's not. It's real. When you get a gunshot and you're dead, you're mm. gone. Okay. That's it. And when you say um, forever darkness, uh, I beg to differ. Eternal darkness. It exists. Eternal it, darkness. Eternal darkness I, I, I beg to differ. Okay. The same way you have eternal darkness, you have eternal light. Okay. And um, I don't know, I know you are a reader. Have you ever come upon the 16 books that they excluded out of the Holy Scriptures, a.k.a. the Bible? Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> I, you know what? I, I, I'm going to... Two, 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 weeks, two weeks from now, I'm going to sponsor. We got to talk about this because you... You like playing games, man. You play all these sorts of games with people, man. And every time I got to laugh, I'm like, yo, you. And you do it. You do it because of the level of your knowledge. And I can't even knock you on that. But it's interesting when I hear you talk about certain things. And um, Well, now, hang on a second now. <laughs> Was it you and I who had the conversation about the infancy gospel of Thomas? No, but I've heard you. I, I've okay. been listening, and I've heard you dibbling, dabble okay. into okay. Um, that gospel boat. But well, well, now, now one of the, the th there is the gospel of Thomas, and then you have the infancy gospel of Thomas, the story about Jesus killing his friends. So when you talk about uh, uh, chapters and books that were excluded, yes, I had to go through them to reach the. To reach the point where I'm at, I, I had to read and I had to had to 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 get an understanding of these things, or at least you know uh, do the research before I could say I'm a non-believer. I couldn't just you know uh, uh, have some type of tragic situation happen and then say I don't believe. I'm mad. <laughs> that would have been bullshit, <laughs> right? <laughs> <That'd be> bullshit. <laughs> yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Well, the book I've heard you refer to this book demonology a couple of times and I want to just set the record straight okay when I first heard you heard you mentioned it I did a little research on it I didn't get the book but I went on to you Google and I did a, a, a little reading and what I get to understand is this and that's when I started laughing that book the author of that book copied the information out of the wisdom of Solomon mm. and say, oh, he wrote the book. You see what I get to understand with these Europeans slash Greeks? They went into Egypt and they did a lot of, they, they are straight up criminals. They stole that knowledge, rewrite it, water it down and add things to it and say, this is how this story goes. That's a complete lie complete lie well hang on now hang on hang, hang on hang on you you reference the author of that book and you you uh, you're referring or you're accusing him of plagiarism that's king james the yes first. king james the first yes well yes it's beyond him what what no 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 it's beyond that's who authored hang on that's who authored demonology king james the first go ahead and and what i'm saying is that it's a lot of lies to that because people who dig, for example, one of the most powerful one is the book of Enoch. Mm -hmm. I've been studying this book for the last seven years. Mm -hmm. I, could break, I could break down dinosaur and how dinosaurs came onto this planet straight up. I will have people thinking about this. People, for example, the giants that, walks the, that walk the earth, which is facts. Scientists will tell you that they are our cousin, our near relatives, and all of this garbage and nonsense. We're not. We're not family. We're not related to no giants that ever walked this planet. 
We are far from that. Okay. Every giant, gi- giants come with six fingers on each hand and six toes on each feet and each foot. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, like I said, I'm not even going to hold it up. I, 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 listen, I appreciate what you're doing, but I guarantee you I'm going to sponsor a show pertaining to this topic. I like when you play these games and you go back and forth and you, 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 you know, strung the brains of people and let they think. I like that. I like what you're doing. I appreciate what you're doing. And I appreciate good show. you, man. Great I appreciate show. you. I'm here. Yes, sir. Thank you. I got you. Thank you. Yes, sir. Respect. All right. All right, hold on a second, guys. Uh, oh, there he is. There is Elvis, the chef Rosenberg. Okay, okay. Hang on, Elvis. Let me get you in the queue. What's your number, sir? It's uh, uh, what is the number? It's six, isn't it? Six. The fuck. Good afternoon. Good evening, Elvis, the chef Rosenberg. Thank you for tapping in, sir. Thank you for tapping in. Hey, Elvis, the Chef Rosenberg, I am here. Hey, man, I appreciate you. So I a say, little under the weather, forgive me. Okay, okay. I, sent I, you, was taking, I was taking a nap, a little under the weather. Okay, I sent you an email early this morning because, you know, when I'm up in the mornings... Uh, 8 a.m., 8 a.m. Yeah, yeah, 8 a.m. And, and the coffee, you know, I'm, I'm black, no sugar, no cream. My mind is racing, and I, you know, I've been talking to myself about this over the decades. Um, you, you are convinced that we live in a computer simulation, yes? That's your world, so that's why I emailed you and said, hey, man, I want to finally address this, the uh, simulation hypothesis. But I'm, I'm not necessarily what? hung up on the word computer. I think we may. Mm. There might be a chance that we are in a simulation hypothesis. Where do you want to start, sir? Big Elvis, right. the chef. I, I love that you said that it, forget about the word computer because the computer is just what we understand. Right. Our brains, it's, it's like a good way to just kind of help you understand something. Right. And the truth is we probably, our brains couldn't understand what we is. Right. And I refer to this as, we living in a computer generate a, a reality generating machine, a reality generating machine that hear me out, where the down. earth is the earth is the earth is round, the earth is flat, the earth is concave, hollow, and and also octagon at the same time. It's all done at the same time. So if you look up flat earth, you'll find all the facts that you need. If you look up round earth, you'll find everything you need. You can, find, you can look up inner earth and hollow earth. You will find every, there's something for everyone because it all is real at the same time. Okay. We're living in these proverbial bubbles where we don't even realize that the day we were born in the hospital we were born in, the people that were born in that hospital when we were born, they are also on a plane with us to Cancun. They are also in the restaurant with us eating steak somewhere in another country in another state. We just don't know that they, we're like with each other or you know how the world is so small and our realities are these little proverbial bubbles where we are connected just to these small groups and our belief systems are not that of our own they're controlled by the television and the things that we see because we're not given a chance to ask the questions, the real questions. Why are we here? What are we? Where are we? When are we? What's really going on? And what's great about a show like yours is that now the Internet, is op- the internet of Things has opened up our spaces and our realities to recognize that maybe... We like like uh, the whole story about they clone Tyrone is just some sort of idea to some truisms where we all kind of like look the same. You go to different parts of the country in the world, you're like, wait a minute, that looks exactly like some- Elvis. I, I have to jump in. I have to jump in. Um, wait, th- wait. That, that film was beneath me. I, I know it. It, it affected a certain audience, but I just, you know, I thought it was trash for the most part. 
I thought that was no, no, but the, I'm not, I, I forget, forget about the movie. It's yeah. more just the, the reality that we're not these individuals that we think that we are. Okay. Okay. And this reality, reality generating machine that we're possibly, I believe, in is limited to just like, let's say, a hundred stories, so to speak. So when we look at music, when we look at art, when we look at theater, movies, all these things, they really just on some sort of uh, a stalled reality, so to speak. We're in this, I believe, there's a reset that happens, and we were able to find that Bingo. verbal reset room. Now, hold on. So, Ho hold on, Elvis. Ho hold, uh, hold on, because I was just about to say to you, are we headed for some type of reset, number one? Number two, right. number two, is there any real pinnacle for the existence of uh, uh, homo sapiens? Well, well, you know, <laughs> is there any pinnacle? If so, we, we will never I see it. Pinnacle. A pinnacle of life. What's pinnacle? What does that a mean? Pinnacle, a pinnacle. point. I don't know that meaning. A point. No. A point. A, a point a, a, of enlightenment. A grand satisfaction. Is there any real pinnacle, uh. or or is it just going to be constant war, crime, hedonism, um, uh, 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 right, vile right, right, behavior, right, right, right. brutal death? The slaughter of innocent people and fucking, um, um, you know, uh, tsunamis and, and, and fires and shit like that. Is there any pinnacle or are we just going to repeat and, as you just said, reset? Right. Well, 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 I love that question. It's so great because everything you said could be argued that they're just distractions to who we are our true selves, our inner knowing of who we are is being distracted at all times. We never get a moment to stop and think about us. We're living in a paradise that we turned into a mall, and they're charging us the whole way. Okay. So let me say this, Star. Um, I'm saying a lot. I'm moving fast. I'm sort of, take I'm, you, take I'm your still, time. I'm still take your weather. time. I'm in no rush. Take your time. Um, this reality that we're in let's just imagine there's this room it's the reset room we're going to call it the reset room and this reset room was hidden underneath like even a nuclear bomb couldn't get to it but we used nuclear bombs to open up this room we called it a testing site we were testing these bombs so we had to test 50. one or two wasn't enough so let's test 50. we break through into this room and in this room is this like i said this so to speak reset button so we've actually stopped the reset we became so technology advanced. This is whatever set we are. Let's say we're number. Let's say we're number six. Uh, comes up a lot. We, we could be number seven, number six, number eight of us, humanity. This pinnacle that we always reach this pinnacle, and then somehow it starts all over. We don't know how, but we found this room, and we was able to stop this reset. The problem is, is that by stopping this reset. We are, we are, we have so much power, the human. We have so much power that they have to constantly distract us from being on. So there's a, there's a, there's a, a, a side effect, so to speak, to being able to, to stop the reset. That's why we talk about the changing of the suns and all this kind of stuff. Like, you know, I respectfully disagree with you. you know, respectfully. I don't, thank you. I, I don't think, of course. No, come on, come I, on. When you say, Power? What power? <laughs> what power do we have? <laughs> what power? Humans? Uh, we have the Star. we have the ability to conceptualize and create, and 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 travel. You know, we can travel now, but we haven't figured out how, if 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 at all, to to jump from other from this dimension to another. How to travel through black holes? We haven't. We don't have that technology yet. So what power do we have? 
You see, it's not the technology. It's the power of our minds, the power of man. There are tons of information out there of what the Chinese are doing with the children, with telekinesis, easy, easy. being able to... Easy. <laughs> yeah, well, uh, um, our Asian friends, <laughs> um, they have, yeah, it, it's, it's, it's our minds are like, our, like you would be probably a big part of this thing that shows how you're, uh, you left the, the, the education system to chase rock and roll and you end up being the social pioneer and in that in itself is power. So we do have power. What are our powers? We don't know. We're constantly distracted. I think I would be killed um, in, in, the, uh, in the simulation hypothesis for trying to uh, alert people to the simulation hypothesis. I would be killed. I, I, I would die a horrible death. Maybe you can't. Maybe, maybe you can't be killed. Maybe your father, your father's father's father made a deal. You don't know. I don't know. We don't know. We don't know. Hey, I want to ask you another question, Elvis. And, and your father went to the military voluntarily at fourteen. You don't know what the deals well, your dad well, might have made to protect no, no, you. No, I mean, my father joined uh, the Navy because somebody got killed in Durham, North Carolina. He joined up when he was fourteen. He, he, he said, I gotta, yeah. had to get the fuck out of town. But hang on a second. Let's go back. Let's go back. Um, people who are bipolar and who, who experience depression, do you think that they're really suffering or, or are they actually more enlightened? Maybe people who experience depression, Maybe they experience some type of debriefing and they realize it's all bullshit. This is all bullshit. Whoa. There's no point. Whoa. There's no point in in communicating with family. The friends that I have are, are fucking losers. This this car and this house that I worked for was a waste of my fucking time. And these kids that I have helped uh, um, create ain't gonna be shit. Oh, therefore, right. therefore they become, as we know it, depressed. But in reality, they have be they have been debriefed, and they realize that it's all a simulation hypothesis. What do you think of that? Think of that. I, I think I, I think you're onto something. People, I went through a time when. I was depressed. I might be cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. I don't know if I'm on something. I'm just fucking rambling. Well, well, cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs is fine. That's probably <laughs> why you're still around. But, so now, uh, you know, I did go through a depression time in my life, and then <sighs> I bumped into the Mandela effect. Okay. And the Mandela effect is what kind of helped me realize that we possibly in a simulation and how things keep changing, not happening the way we remember it. So um, this, this, this Mandela effect snapped me right out of the depression stage. So there's a lot of people that are depressed and they haven't, they realize that this is all BS. We're all paying bills because I keep saying, we're living in a paradise, and we turned it to a mall, and they're charging us the whole way. So um, people, they never bump into what they need to snap out of that depression, you know? That depression is real because people, they just, they just realize this is just BS. I'm, what am I doing this for? Yeah. And the Mandela effect helped me snap out of that, and I would encourage anyone to look up the Mandela effect and understand it's it, it it it's 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 a it's a simulation we're in, y'all. It's a simulation, and 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 you can be anything you want to be. You, there are rules, and the government will take you down if you become something they don't like. But for the most part, there's four there's four thousand millionaires made every day in America, and a lot of that I think happens when you open your mind and you just know that you have the power to change whatever role or script you were given. You can be anything you want to be. You can step out of this proverbial simulation and win, win, win. Big, big, big. So, Elvis, how old are you again? That. I forget. How old are you again? 
October 1st, I turned 50. Okay. I just turned 50 years old, Star. My last question, and then I want you to promote, yeah. promote your platform, of course. And if you have done a video on this in the past, uh, send me a link so I can promote that video for you. Um, my last question to you, if, if we are living in a simulation hypothesis, is there any real benefit? I, I, I've heard you over the, over the years talk about, you know, we could be living in a matrix of sorts. But is there any real benefit if indeed we are? Or are we just on a aimless path? Is there any benefit? Mm. I, I think there are benefits to understanding that we're in a simulation. Like I just said, it, it, it could, but as far as um, are we just like in, in this like Groundhog Day, I tell my friend the other day that we're living in a Groundhog Day and the only thing that changes is that we get older and we're not realizing that we're just full of all these patterns and these things that just are repeating itself over and over again and we just don't notice because we keep getting older. And, um, and the more they change the bills and give us wars, we just don't realize that you know, there, there could be a purpose in that Groundhog Day. We could find, like the guy in the movie, he was running around saving people and, like, you know, helping people and doing good. And a lot of times, you know, that kind of stuff is a good thing when you're, when you're, when you're out there giving an F about somebody other than yourself, you know, I, I, allegedly. Okay, okay. Even though, even though uh, there is a lot of strength in caring about yourself and having true meaning for yourself instead of just giving, giving, giving to others and just walking around aimlessly. I'm not saying that. Okay. You know, like I don't, even, I don't even help out the homeless when they come to my car. I'm like, not today. Because so that's their reality, and I don't want to be part of it. Um, I'm not too sure. I'm not too sure that the homeless are, uh, are the actual people who are weak. Maybe they realize it's all bullshit, and, and they, they, they've, uh, they've found th their true place. Why don't I just fucking sleep under this bridge, sleep on this fucking busy street, what, what, what am I working for? What am I going to strive for? To, to get with someone who the relationship isn't going to last anyway? And we're, we're going to work our fingers to the bone? I'm not going to enjoy the sun. I won't enjoy the fucking beach. I'm, I'm going to put in a 50-hour work and then get and, and have a heart attack or uh, Crohn's disease. Well, Crohn's disease is hereditary, pardon me. Or I'm going to have a stroke. And then, and then die anyway, so why don't I just, you know, why don't I just lie around and just take it, take it slow and, and beg, for a couple, beg for some loose change and, and, live off the fat of the, mm. and live off the fat of the land. Maybe they're, maybe they're sane and the rest of us are fucked in the head. Hey, yo, hey, you never wrote that down. You just came up with that. You just came up with that. That's beautiful, man. Maybe That's we're, beautiful, maybe we're man. fucked. Hey, yo. <laughs> what are we doing? What are we doing every yeah. day? What are we doing this for every day? For what? To talk to who? A bunch <laughs> of fucking losers? <laughs> Fake friends? Mm -hmm. Fake friends and followers? Who are these fucking people? Anyway. Oh, it was great to talk to you, man. Great to talk to you. <laughs> Yo, thanks for thanks for hitting me up at eight in the morning. I appreciate you for that. Yes, sir. Um, if anyone wants to hear some more stuff like this that I'm speaking on, you can you can just Google Premium Black News. Yes, sir. Or you can Google Big Elvis and Chef Rosenberg or Elvis Rosenberg. Anywhere on YouTube, I will pop up. Anywhere in the ether, I will pop up. I've been doing this for about four years. And I had a thousand videos like this that I took down in order to try to get monetized, which Ooh. happened. I just made okay, and I just made three thousand subscribers this last week. So the channel um, looks like uh, things are happening. You can see everything from me having altercations with police for messing with some of my tenants that right. I have all around the city that I right. can't really discuss. And you can also see things um, with my family and also the Premium Black News channel itself where uh, we talk about everything and um, 
You all appreciate it, Star. Thank you, Elvis. Thank Big you. Big Elvis to Chef Rosenberg. Google me. Yes, sir. Yeah. You. Salute. Yeah. Janet, are you there? Um, good evening, Janet. Good to hear from you. Thank you for your support on a Sunday. Hey, hey Star, how are you? I'm great, Janet. You know, I'm from Jersey, born and raised. You are as well. <laughs> I'm, on that, I'm on that bullshit today. What's cracking, Janet? Let's go. Well, I was calling in about the subject about if, um, are we living in a uh, simulation? Yeah. And I want I want to say this. I believe that we're we are all living in a program that um, is called life. Okay. And I believe that the reason people believe that they have experienced the same thing over and over and over again is because they are. And I point to when they say there's nothing new underneath the sun, correct? So if you look and like when you was born, when we're born, we're born with all our reproductive, like a woman is born with all of her reproductive eggs, right? Okay. So, and then, and then, so you was, you was born when your mother was born, and then inside her mother and her mother and her mother all the way back to Eve, you were there. Okay. So, if you can pass down um, traits of how one looks, how um, skin color, um, and um, rare diseases, things as such, you understand, then how come you're not passing down memories? I think we're passing down memories. And I think that we have already programmed ourselves to stay in a loop. And I believe it's because those that have figured out that we're in a loop program learned how to use it. And they use energy, what they call um, um, what human has, human has four type of um, energies. I forget now offhand, but we do have energies, and I think they use these energies to manipulate the programs so we can stay in it. So certain people could come up, certain people could come down. It's like a game. It's like a game, you know? That's what I feel. It's like, um, like somebody was giving. Janet, um, now I'm sipping Merlot. What are you sipping? Let's keep it real. I'm sipping a little Merlot. What are you sipping? Um, iced tea, okay. green tea. Okay. I'm trying to be healthy. All right. I'm drinking green tea today. Okay. It's okay. My brother already told me that I, I think like I'm drunk. He always No, I, I didn't and say that. I just, hey, I, you, when you and I talk, I let you talk because you are, um, you know, you, 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 you're an extravagant thinker. I respect that. I respect that. So you do think that we are in some type of um, simulation hypothesis? I think we're in a. I think we're in a loop program called life. I think some of. I think some people have figured it out, and I think they are using it to keep it going because once it gets to the apex, to the ending, when you when you when you defeat that loop, I think that is when we are free. I don't know how free we, what, in what sense, in what definition that freedom is, but we are free. And I think it behoves, it behooves some to keep us in the loop so they could, um, they could live in a profitable uh, situation. This is what I'm thinking. And I'm thinking once we, we, we. I reject the term free, for free, for, for free to do what? Mm -hmm. Self govern? For, well, free to do what? This is what I'm. I, that's why I say, in what definition, I do not know, because I don't... I, well, you said it. Hang, 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 hang on, hang on. I, you said it, free, free. Well, what, why not say in a repetitive, never-ending cycle? Who, who says we're going to get free? Well, when I, when I say free, and I, as I stated earlier when I began the conversation, is that I don't know what people define freedom is. I didn't say that verbatim, but in that sense. So what I'm saying is when I say free, maybe that is equate to um, paradise. Maybe that equates to heaven. Maybe that um, equates to no more pain. Plaque Father sent in a donation. I agree with him. Uh, we will remain trapped. Free. <laughs> but that's the loop. That's the loop. That's the okay. word trap is equal to okay. the word loop. That, that's you write, the opposite of free. You're saying free. Uh, right. I, I'm agreeing once with Plaque, out, Plaque Father. Trapped. No, I'm. what I'm saying is once we figured out the loop and get out of the loop, and once as mankind, even as individuals, I believe some individuals have, and they are using that to keep other individuals down because I believe that this program is called life. Now, I write programs, 
and I know that um, the word loop me is a continuous thing. Do not stop until this action occurs. So what I'm thinking is this deja vu thing that you're seeing is something that you have already experienced over and over and over again since the beginning of time because from the beginning of time you was here because they say there's nothing new underneath the earth. And then biologically and scientifically they say that um, when, you're, when, you're, when your parents are born, you are born with them because the, the mother is born with all, of, all her um, eggs. And you're in there. It's not that they grow somehow once she grow up. No, they're there at the beginning of the stage. So I go, if you take that back, 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 and if you pass it down. Question, question. Can I throw you a curveball with all due respect? Can I throw you a curveball? <clears throat> okay. You say you write programs, so therefore you have an understanding of coding. Yes, coding. Mm -hmm. The word loop is what we're, we're defining today. Well, coding. coding. Okay. I just put coding on the table. Coding. So, so okay. the coding can be, you know, whatever. It doesn't necessarily have to have a beginning nor an end. The coding can be a repetitive process. You keep mentioning our parents. The parents can just be a fucking host that can be discarded after the, the, the process gets rolling. That's, yes, that, but see, does that sound plausible? Sound plausible? No, because you're looking at the word code and coding wrong. Okay, come the on. word coding means to is to write a program, and you can write a program, and a program is, is called a loop program where you could write the program to say have this happen over and over and over again. It could go from now into infinity until a certain action, and if or happens. And then once that happens, then that program change. A loop is something that is a loop is something you code. A code gotcha. is nothing but coding the program. Gotcha. It's, a, it's a body of work. It's like writing a it's like writing a letter. You're telling something to do something if this happened, if not or equal to. You understand what I'm saying? So what I'm saying is the the program that we're living in is called life. And we are set on loops that has been going on since the beginning of time. And I think a certain amount of people in this world have figured it out. Take a breath. Take a breath. Janet, take a breath. Take a breath. I respect. Okay. I respect. Then, hang, on, then, hang on. Hang on. Hang on. I respect, you know, what you bring to the table. Now, within this program of life that you keep referencing, is there a creator? You are a believer, if I remember correctly. Yes. Yeah, I believe. Now, if now earlier when um they was talking about the book of Enoch, I never. No, no, Janet, Janet, Janet. It's the question is: Is there a creator of the program of life? Simple question. Simple question. Okay, I'm gonna say yes, okay. and I'm gonna define that by the book of Enoch. Well, I don't need you to define it. I got. It. I just wanted to slow down, slow down, slow down. So there is a creator of the program mm -hmm. that you are referencing. Mm -hmm. So so you're saying, yeah. yes, we do live in a simulation hypothesis. A positive, a positive is a guess. It's a scientific hypothesis. I, hypothesis. Yes, but I think we, I think we, use, well, yeah, I, okay. okay. I'm gonna go with your terminology. Okay, yes. Well, so, no, Janet, that, that's a word. I'm, I, I didn't create the word. That's a word. <laughs> I understand, but I, the I fuck? to use something the fuck? A, little, a little different. I but. learned that word in 1973. Take it easy. Take it easy. I'm just asking the goddamn question. <laughs> so, so you subscribe to the theory that there is a creator of the program yeah. of life that we exist in. Is there a pinnacle? Yeah. Is there a point when things restart you you said a loop i'm a great listener i'm a fucking dropout but i'm a great listener yes. i'm a listener is yes. there a point yes. point when, when the program reloops please again okay it's going to continue to loop okay what i'm saying is the point is to break the loop the the, the point is not to keep the loop going uh, uh you know the point is to break the loop and then after the loop is broken when that is broken, then either we're going to have complete happiness J or... Janet, can you describe... Dan, Janet, 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 describe the point when, when the reloop starts. That's all. Just describe that point. What is that point? 
Is that point? But see, the 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 it's, it's the re loop doesn't start once you oh. break the loop. That's it. Okay. Right. Once you break a once you once you break that loop, that's it. Unless you program further down, and then you start all over at the beginning. Got gotcha. you. You understand what I'm saying? Because once you break a loop, that program, that, that, that loop is gone unless you program it to fix itself. Okay. And I believe over the millennium times, the life program has been, has been getting smarter and smarter and smarter. But I believe that it's been used, I think it's being used by a handful of people to control the masses and keep us in this, this loop. Okay. And it won't let us go because they are benefiting too much from this reality. Before you go, that's what I think. Before you go, I appreciate your input on this particular topic. Who is they? You referenced they a few times. Who is they? Okay, so when I say they, I I believe those that have that have are profiting off this loop through money, um, influence, power, um. And and they have been going on for a millennia in time because as you as you see that we have had families even here in the United States that have been multi billionaires from um for over five hundred years of lineages. And now if you look at Europe and you look at the powers in Europe, these people have been in power. Their family has been in power for over four or five hundred years. Even in, even to the best mathematical mind, that that that's not even possible to happen. You know, it's like so minute of a chance of that happening that people don't even consider it. But it's happening, gotcha. and it has happening, right. and it is, and it's, it's it's true today. Okay. But may I, may I start? May I say something, Star? I, yeah, yes. I never advertise my channel. What's that? I never advertise my channel on here, but um, send, I have audio books on my channel. Send me a banner. So I've books. always said send me a banner so I can promote your channel. I've always said that to you. Oh, that? Yes, you have. Yes, yeah. you have. But I, I, I just, you know, I just want to know. I just have audio books on there. I don't go, go on there talking and all that other stuff. Ahead, it's just audio books. It's old, old, ancient books. Come on. But they, they are good books. Come and on. you don't even have to sit down and read it. You can just hit play and it is, you know, read for you. Promote the channel. Promote the channel. Okay. Oh no, it's a bountiful soul. So if anyone want to read, um, um, not read, but know the Enoch book is. It's on my channel, so if you just want to, if you never read it, or it was like, well, it's too long or whatever, you could go to your hit play, you know, at your convenience and listen to it, you know, and then you get from it what you get from it, okay? That's all I want to say. Before you go, before you, you're a reader, like I'm a reader, are you familiar with Haggadah? No, you got me there, Star. You're a college. I don't know. Are you, you, are you, are you going to teach me? Well, you're, I can point you in the right direction. I don't know if I can teach you or not. You're, you're a year or two. Are you younger or older than me? I forget. I'm 59. How old are you? Well, I'm, I'm younger than you. So, you know, so you're like a big, 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 big you know, elder to me. Do you have a computer in front of you or, or a crayon or something? Can you write this, write this down? <laughs> Okay. This nigga's out of pocket. <laughs> type something. Type something. Type something in and keep this between me and you. You ready? Uh huh. H A G G A D A H. Okay. Pronounce it. Go ahead. Pronounce it. It seems like it's a Haggadah. 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 Oh, uh, okay. Google it right now. Okay. Google it. Haggadah. I am. What does it say? All right. Okay. A Jewish text that sets forth the order of the Passover Seder. Oh, so the Passover dinner. Okay. All right. I got you. Okay. You read up on that, sister, unless, unless you and I talk again. I Thank you, Janet. I appreciate you. Okay. Bye-bye. Okay. Thank, thank you, you okay. sir. Okay. Thank you. Haggadah. 
Her and I will have that conversation another time. Okay. Uh, let me go to Cash Chat, Super Chat, and PayPal. Thank you, folks, for your patience. My showrunner, the DEA, is now investigating Rashawn Casey, Cesar Pena, and DJ Envy's wife, too. Run, Gia. Run, girl. <laughs> Girl, they coming. <laughs> Envy, I want you to hear it from me. I was on the phone with the DEA. The feds that went up in iHeart, and they went up in iHeart, fuck what anybody tries to tell you, they were there. You guys can play around and say, oh, it wasn't rated. They were there. In my community section, the DEA told babies, anybody looking at... Uh, community section, that's the DEA's website. Drug Enforcement Administration, child. I told you, they come in with the flatbeds for the car collection. <laughs> they come in for the goddamn car collection. <laughs> oh, fuck nigga star. <laughs> oh, fuck nigga star. Uh, hold on a second. Uh, Micah got your donation. Thank you, sir. How about we're already in hell? <laughs> oh. Um, you know, th there, there's proof to what you've just said, Mike. There's proof to what you've just said. It's, I don't have an issue with what you just said. You know, it could be heaven or hell. One of my favorite singers, Ronnie James Dio. Used to sing about heaven or hell. <laughs> Tony Iommi on guitar for those who give a goddamn. AJ got your donation. Humpty Dumpty, DJ Envy. Oh, okay. It is what it is. Uh, hey, Robin, I got your donation. She says, for the machine, I love you. Well, thank you, Robin. Thank you, darling. Might you have a bunch of badass kids you want to hang out with on a Saturday and you need... Uh, a father figure, holler at me. <laughs> if not, I, I appreciate you just the same. <laughs> uh, please don't, don't forget. To... Who is this? Don't forget to read my YouTube. Who are you? Uh, just notice. Send it here. What do you mean don't forget? Man, I'm 59. Send it here. The fuck? I mean, don't forget. I forget every goddamn thing. I'm almost 60. <laughs> I, don't know. I don't know. Who sent a donation here in the Super Chat? Thank you so much to uh, Bio Doctor 30 x Vision. Got your donation. Souls to a powerful star. Keep that shine within you, yourself. And I, the eighth one, is number one. Thank you so much. Uh, who is this? Wayne. Well, what's going on, Wayne? You sent me two paragraphs. Where's your donation, Wayne? I'm not reading two fucking paragraphs with a goddamn donation. Uh, something about black culture. Okay, Wayne, call in. Send a donation and call in. Dun -dun -dun. Dun -dun -dun. Mm -hmm. Oh, just my nigga right here. Is that my dumb in a can, nigga? Randy tapping in. Randy, Randy, Randy. Que lo que, que lo que. <laughs> Randy was cracking, man. How are you? Good to hear from you. Yeah, man. I'm all the red to them niggas talking shit about Dominicans, bro. Mm. We smack light skinned niggas till they turn pink in the face. You Let's heard? Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. And we brandish weapons on this side, you heard? Mm. I'm, just, I'm just starting it right there, bro. And this is a simulation, and every day we choose to create our own world and our own universe. Some people get stuck in a loop, you get me? Right. Some people don't do upgrades. Some people don't, don't do soft, software tune-ups, you know? Right. Some people don't read books and get, you know, upgrades in their, in their software and keep their minds sharp. Certain people are outdated PCs. They don't make them anymore. They're, they're not hip to the system and the universe, you know? Let's go. So if this is a simulation, I also believe that there are tools and substances that you can do to alter mind and to 
sharpen up your 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 vessel, the thing that computes everything. That's well, hang, hang on a second. Hang, I, I liked your energy at first. Uh, that some Puerto Ricans were talking reckless about Dominicans. You want to tell uh, some Puerto Ricans SMD? Come on, talk your talk. It's Sunday. Yeah, these Puerto Ricans, because come on, bro. These Puerto Ricans are colonized. The R could never. At least we are our own nation. And you know what? We built a border to keep the Haitians out, nigga. Fuck Haitians, nigga. How about that, nigga? We Tell the Puerto Ricans SMD. Let's go, Randy. Let's go. Nigga, it's already a fact. Nigga, Puerto Rican women get slutted out by Dominicans. Just go to the Bronx. Get haymakers and uppercuts and they punk-ass daddies don't do shit because they ain't in their lives. Sadly... If we talk in stereotypes, you feel me? Puerto Ricans ain't shit, and then they raise ain't shit kids that be in front of the store. Yo, papi, can I get a dollar for a Lucy? <laughs> can I get a dollar for a Lucy, OG? Yeah. I never heard so many. I never heard a race called younger people OGs oh, more than I, I hear the, um, fucking Puerto Ricans, bro. Mm. No respect to a Puerto Rican, nigga. Mm. I spit on Puerto Rican women, nigga. Damn. I used to smut out Puerto Ricans back in New York, nigga. Check my body, nigga. Let's go. Could I have a Puerto Rican? Could I have a Puerto Rican baby mama, but she wasn't fine enough to carry my seed? I rather I rather lay that burden on a white woman that could be used as a key. A Puerto Rican can't open shit for me, mm. but a beer, nigga. But a beer and some henny. <laughs> and you know what? Maybe some beans for my arroz con pollo, nigga. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe. Mm. Yeah, bro. Puerto Ricans think that they so high and mighty because they're owned by the U.S. They're owned. But they got to check their economics, bro. Right. We going bankrupt having them on a leash. Mm. Going, we lose. Population on the decline. You know? We losing money fucking with Puerto Rico. How we own Puerto Rico, but we gave our, um, we license manufacturing with Mexico. Do your homework on that. Why we don't get imported goods from Puerto Rico? Because they don't have shit to offer. <laughs> but a bitch with fat ass and no face. <laughs> that was a funny joke. Say that again? <laughs> what? Import what? <laughs> Why we don't get nothing imported from Puerto Rico? <laughs> but bitches with fat asses and no face. Oh, my God. Don't worry, folks. We're going to edit this whole call out. <laughs> Shit. Yeah, bro. Like, nigga, I might just drop a sex tape with a Puerto Rican bitch, bro. <laughs> like, bro, niggas got me hot talking shit about the Dominican Republic. But I could go to DR and be a free man, nigga. Oh, you mean, you mean the other day? What was that? Uh, Friday show you talking about? Yeah, bro. Talking crazy. Yeah. And you know what? Some Dominicans is scammers, nigga. Mm. And you know what? They don't represent us. They're Americanized. Mm. In DR, we rob niggas at gunpoint, nigga. Mm. We rob you at gunpoint. We don't got to steal from you like no sucker, nigga. And we do it with no mask so you can see our fucking face. <laughs> we ain't pussy, nigga. Right. Do something about it. You move the wrong way to the left or to the right, you get smoke and get left right there, nigga. Randy, did you see um, Caesar, Caesar's brother, uh, 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 Lucci? That nigga's talking greasy. Yeah, nigga, that's how Dominicans give it up, nigga. We nigga, threaten you, nigga. We that nigga's talking greasy. We like that, nigga. We smoke niggas. We smoke niggas. Exactly. Morenos to this dick right now, nigga. You know how much black bitches I smutted out, nigga, and spit in their mouth, and they call me daddy, nigga? You know how much, you know how many black bitches braid in my hair and call me boppy, nigga? Ooh. Come on, bro. Usually I fuck with FBA, usually I'm very respectful, right. but if niggas don't fuck with my culture, guess what, nigga? Mm. SMB, nigga. Mm. Nigga, how about that? How about let's talk about the scammer, um, Umar Johnson, nigga? Ooh. Donations, donations, donations. All right, listen, I don't want to go to other channels. Randy, you doing, you're, doing that, good, right? you're doing good on your own. Just don't talk about other content creators. Go ahead and finish up, man. Talk to you. Nah, talk, nah. Yeah. Nah, they, they were talking crazy about Dominicans. It was the Friday. Dominican scammers, but we got, we got Omi and the Hellcat. How many Batman Kevo, how many scammers are infamous in the community and black people praise them because they got slave chains and some nice cars that are going to get um, taken by the feds when the IRS comes, nigga? How many niggas floss for a year or two and then do 20 years in the feds? Mm. Let's talk about that, nigga. How many dirty, dusty niggas done scam PPP money? I'll wait. I'll wait. 
Right. You got a credible right. black man linking up with a Dominican to scam people. I, oh, oh, Envy oh, isn't black? He might be light skinned, but he's still black at the end of the day. I might not claim him, but right, right. where's he? Fair <laughs> complexion, Negro. Scamming ass nigga hooking up with a Dominican. Power couple. Mm. The blacks and the Hispanics. Always, nigga. Okay. Randy, I appreciate the call, man. Um, salute. You know, mother. And if anybody wants smoke, my nah, nigga. Don't worry about it. Listen, you did good. Don't worry about all that. You did good. We'll talk this week, man. Salute. All right, stay up, nigga. Okay, I'm about to take a shot of Henny, bro. Stay up, man. And nigga. I'm about to pour some out to the floor for all the spicks I just killed right now. Okay. Fuck so, Puerto Rico. Okay. It's my nigga Randy. <sighs> yeah, I had to let him get that one off because Friday, who was that? <laughs> Rory was going in on the uh, Dominicans, and, and I saw Randy in the queue, but I just, too many calls were going on. He said, yo, gee, come on, man. Let me get on the line, man. Okay. Um... Reaction Tone Lit got your donation. Star, salute to you and the Troll Babies. Feeding the Machine, thank you, sir. Wayne Lewis got your donation, sent you a message uh, to your email, but okay, about some business. Thank you, uh, Wayne. I'll check that out. Guys, my email address is on the screen for all business pertaining to sponsorship, custom marketing, you know. Uh, us trying to help you if we can reach your target demo, okay? Wayne says, uh, check your email. Okay. Okay, thank you, Wayne. I'll get to that after the show. And uh, hang on a second. Uh, area code 862. Good evening, 862. Uh, this is not a trending topic, but it's um, something of interest to me. Are you there, 862? Good evening, good evening. Hi, Star. This is Robin. I heard your message. Hey, Robin, what's crack? Sorry. <laughs> it's crack, girl. <laughs> How are you, darling? I'm good. Are you a mother? I am. Do you have bad kids? I, I like take, uh, dating girls who have bad kids, and we take the kids out and let the kids just go wild. <laughs> Star. <laughs> I heard that, and that's, that's what made me call you. It's like, do you have any badass kids? Unfortunately, I do not. I have one son, and he's going down 23. Oh. We're grown over here. Oh, he's grown. He's grown. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, he actually, he listens to the show uh, oh. with me. Salute. And, and Salute. he laughs, and we enjoy your uh, point Salute. of view on what, on what you have to say. So, yeah, I just wanted to. <laughs> I just wanted to uh, call in for that and just to say that I am um, enjoying the show. It's a little bit above me because this is getting into, like, science fiction and things of that nature. That's not me. Well, well um, if, 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 I, if, if I can just say this, you know, um, I, I wanted to purposely divert from the whole, uh, 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 you know, um, breakfast club thing on a Sunday. You know, we, yeah. we, we went in on that. We presented facts and sources and so on and so forth. But, um this is something I've been thinking about for decades, and um, I thought it, it might work, and we're having a good discussion. Are you a, 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 a religious person? Are you a believer? Who are you, Robin? You send your donations. I appreciate that. Who are you? Tell us. Um, I, I am for sure a believer. I do believe in God. Okay. I, I, I'm not going to hold you. I do. Okay. Um. But I could say I'm more spiritual than than religious. I don't, you know, I was born Christian. Um, I was raised in church. My uncle is a pastor. I went to private school my entire life. Mm -hmm. That whole thing, I went to Catholic high school, Christian, you know, elementary through middle school. Mm -hmm. um, okay. Yeah, but no, I, I am definitely... Um, a believer. I know that you're not, and I and I laugh at you when you say, "Don't worry about Thank me." Thank you, God, the Father in the blood. <laughs> but I laugh at that. That makes me laugh <laughs> as I chuckle because it's it's funny. It's funny to me. So you know, like I, I when you say that, I'm like, bless his heart. Right, right. Um. So, but yeah, but <laughs> but no, I believe. Um, I called in on Friday, but I got sleepy and I hung up. Okay. Um, and I know DJ Envy, that's, that's one of your things. I'm just going to make a quick comment. Go ahead, go ahead. As far as, I'm, I'm going to say this. You're a smart man. Um, I used to work at the world's largest office building. Okay. I, you know what that is. Right, right. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, 
when they are putting a case together, mm-hmm. be clear. They already have the evidence. Her deleting whatever she was deleting, it doesn't matter. Right. She should have never posted that. Right. And as I, it's something that I know, real money is not loud. Um, it's, 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 it's quiet. Mm-hmm. It, it doesn't have to brag and boast. Right. And as far as uh, DJ Envy, when I look at him, I look at a very sad child from a mm-hmm. psychological standpoint that who was abused, but not really, I don't want to say abused, who was bullied and never accepted. It was always just cast off. So he's real loud with his money. And I always wonder, like, how much does Hot 9, uh, not Hot 97, the breakfast goes mm-hmm. pay. He's doing these these gigs, uh, DJing pre-pandemic. So I'm like, exactly how much money is he bringing in? They're taking lavish vacations. If I can jump in for a second, if I can jump in here, <clears throat> I don't think he was bullied. I, I don't. I don't think that. And and um, you know, um, uh, I don't hate him. I don't know him. I've only been in his company, to my knowledge, twice. I'm more okay. con- I'm more concerned about the urban community accepting scamming. That's a sad I agree. that's a sad reality. Never mind DJ Envy. Why did it take so long for people to respond? Salute to Tony the Closer. He's doing great work right now. He's not cloud chasing. This needs to be exposed. You know, I agree. Hip hop Radio, black radio, or whatever you want to call it. There is so much that goes on and such a commitment to a lower standard of doing business and and, and so-called, you know, catering to the black community. It's sad. It's fucking sad. Never again, never mind envy. You know, he he's just right. a, he's just a spoke in the wheel. He's he's small potatoes. Um he but, really is. Yeah, but you're right. I, I guess because... If, if I can we, just finish this and I'll let you finish mm-hmm. up. I'll let you finish up. You okay. Know, um, I guess because some of us, we don't do our research. Yeah, yeah. Bingo. Uh, when it Bingo. Comes to things, Bingo. Sca- we don't do our research right. and we want to hop on right. the the next thing smoking. Right. If that, if that makes sense. It makes a lot and of sense. we don't want to do it. We play the short game. Right. Not me. Right. Uh, a lot of people play the short game instead of a long game. Right. 30% on a return in less than, but uh, mm-hmm. six mm-hmm. months, that, that screams silly. scam to me. That's silly. Yeah. It, it doesn't make sense. And there's no way in the world, and I feel like certain things are public knowledge or the people, you know, do your research. That building that he was talking about, that school, oh, God. that's a school on the other side, which borderlines like Totowa, New Jersey. It's not down Bosco, but it's one of the public schools Mm -hmm. that he was trying to flip that he got millions of dollars for. Um, That's public record. You can see who owns it. Just a quick Google search. Mm -hmm. And the people that gave thousands and and whatever, however, you should have had your accountant or whoever, someone on your team, do the research. Mm -hmm. And I know that guy, Jeff. I used to get my car washed there. Mm. Um, he's a pillar. I, I, I have to cut you short. Let, let's not mention anybody else's names. Let, okay. let, let's just end on this note. And I appreciate um, uh, what you've brought to the table here. Scamming in the quote unquote black community to, to see that it happens so frequently. Anybody who mm-hmm. approaches me talking about, yo, OG, I just, you know, I wanted some advice. I got some money. I want to know how to flip it. I say, I can't help you flip money. I, I can't. Exactly. If you want to start a business or something, maybe I can point you in the right direction how to go up, you know, to, to open up a fucking some type of uh, certificate of authority with regards to uh, putting your money okay. in a bank account or something uh, to, to get your uh, a DBA doing business as. I can point you in that direction, but flipping money, no, nah, I can't help you with that. I get those people the no. fuck around me. Go ahead and finish up. I agree. Yeah. Me too. I don't, I don't hang around those people again. I don't, I don't live in Jersey anymore. Yeah. Good for <laughs> I'm you. Good a, for I'm a you. different... <laughs> I'm in a different tax bracket in, in a different area. I, I am currently in the suburbs. You go, girl. Um, but, yeah, but, but with that being said, uh, that, that's all I want to say. I just want us to do 
more research and know that nothing happens overnight. Everything takes time. No one gained their money overnight or hit a quick lick. It, right. took, it took years to get to wherever they were. Right. Uh, that's what I just want for our community, to just play the long game and not the short game. Take it in slow increments yep. and know that over time you will be able to have that sort of money. And also, I love you, Star. Thank you, Robin. Good to talk to you. You're welcome. Bye now. Bye-bye. Good call. Good call. Guys, check out one of my sponsors on the screen, www.youtube.com forward slash at K-I-Y-N-Y 007, okay? <clears throat> Spirit, call in, man. Where are you? Call in and promote your platform. Hold on a second. Can you call in? What a good conversation we had. I wasn't too sure about this topic, if people really care but you know yeah call in uh urban guitar legend call in what area code <laughs> folks you have to say what area code i got a fucking uh, a queue here with like you know 20 a minimum of 25 calls at a time. I don't answer it all the time because if these people ain't sending donations, let them wait. But if you've uh, donated to this machine, just say storm on the line, such and such area code. Frank, I got your donation. Salute, he says, as always, salute the hater. Thank you, Frank. Hang on a second, guys. <clears throat> Did I mention that I am uh, an official bird watcher now? I'm having so much fun in my backyard. There's squirrels all over the goddamn place. So, oh, I saw some, some, I don't even know what type of birds they were, some type of woodpeckers. They were huge. I got to videotape all this shit. Uh, but yeah, I got some nice binoculars. I'll keep you guys posted. Uh, no, I mean, sends it a donation star. I am a master at the one day father routine. The mother, ooh, the mother let all guards down. And I'm plotting on the nightcap. <laughs> Cheers to the blue life. <laughs> uh, I don't feel guilty either about being a, a, a one day dad. I, I have such a great time. I get worn out. Take the kids, take the mother out with the kids and go to the fucking, uh, what is that shit? To, put them on the carousel with the, the shit that goes up and down with the pole with the horses. The kids laughing. Y'all want some cotton candy? Yeah. Go get them some fucking cotton candy. <laughs> go get, get them some sodas and fucking hot dogs. They take two, two bites out of a hot dog, then they drop the shit. Don't worry about that shit. Leave it on the ground. We'll get another one. <laughs> Spilling popcorn. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Hang on a second. One more call, goddamn. Let's just shut this down. Area code 770. It's very loud in the background. Very loud in the background. Oh, man, I'm in the car, star. Good evening. Who's calling? 770. Who's calling? Good evening, sir. This is Max from ATL. What's going on? How are you, sir? Are you joining the conversation? A... Do we live in a computer simulation hypothesis? That's the topic. Yes, yes. I, I definitely think so. Um, through experience, my, my mother, she, um, she was in the death room of my grandfather and my aunt when they were dying and you know they say uh, life flashes before your eyes while you're dying okay i believe that yeah i believe that um our life is a replica of technology like everything technology is it's what being repeated now through technology basically technology is recreating creation itself 
just like your, your iPhone shows you memories or your Facebook social media shows you memories mm. randomly. I believe that's the way the human computer operates. You know, and the, the creator, like, uh, I believe Janet, what was her name? Janice? I forgot her name. Janet. But she Janet. was saying that you know, everything is quoted. Are you there? Hello? Hello? Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. That was that was that was basically my point on that. You know that the 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 technology is just re a recreation of what's already there. Everything that we create is something that's already there. We're just advancing it, so to speak. I okay, think. I'm okay with that. I'm okay with what you're saying. I don't know. I mean, I'm I'm uh, you know I have faith and hope in mankind mankind whether it be male or female or, or, or transgender that we will discover the beginning of our origins now wh where we are headed i don't know so that's why i'm i'm, I'm you know uh, open to the possibility of a um simulation hypothesis it's just a theory just a theory yeah yeah i fully agree i like the way you put it um like artificial intelligence, all artificial intelligence is is a recreation of the of the human mind, and they're they're programming it to to you know take the place of thinking, so to speak, figuring things out, you know, just faster. How old are you, sir? How old are you? Forty two. Okay. In your experience, and I'm I'm assuming you are a man of knowledge. I appreciate you being on hold for the time that you had been. Do you think that even though we are resisting AI, artificial, intelli artificial intelligence, that maybe AI will improve mankind and, you know, uh, weed out, you know, human beings that, that are, you know, I, I, I don't want to say, uh, I don't want to be cruel, but, you know, do, do you? Do you believe in um, eugenics? You heard of eugenics? Yes, I heard about eugenics. Um, Do you think that AI somehow in the future will, uh, you know, assist with procreation and 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 make a determination based upon? What society needs. Maybe AI will say, hey, you know, we don't need uh, 20,000 degenerate babies. So we are going to, we're going to stop it. We're going to stop them from coming to reality. And, and we will sterilize some of these women who are, they're, they're not intelligent anyway. Do you think that's a possibility? And that's a, lo a, lo a long question. What do you think? I, I definitely think that's a possibility. Um, I think that's already an, uh, an example. They're already doing that in China. They uh, they have the kids learning under artificial intelligence. So if the if bingo three for two seconds, yeah, <laughs> yeah. If the mind strays for two seconds, they they're able to tell. Yeah. And I think AI is actually going to make us just like you said, m m meet the creator, so to speak. Whatever, whoever that is, or however we could co conceptualize that. I think artificial artificial intelligence is going to make us or bring us to the feet of the creator. Maybe we are the creators. Maybe we are the creators. Yeah, that too. That's another thing. That That's the spooky part. Look at these video games. A lot of these video games, are you going to tell me if you play 2K that your players aren't getting tired or, you know, respawning or, you know? Yeah, we, we, we could be the creator. Sir, never mind the video games. The, the Nation of Gods and Earths put that on the table back in the 60s. Oh, yeah. 60s. I didn't know that. Yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah. I saw an article. Um, some German scientists, they found binary code in the, in the, in the atmosphere. Yeah. It's an article from 2016. The guy's name is James something i forgot i could find it and email it to you well sir you know i mean you can send me something from the graph that man if you like to but uh, google clarence 13 x okay. clarence 13 x clarence 13 x yeah better known as all right i'm a you know 
Clarence, yeah, Ed- Clarence Edward Smith. You know, passed away in 1969. Okay. You know, taught the black man how to have knowledge of self. Uh, you know, along with uh, the Honorable Elijah Muhammad. But hey, man, thank you for your call. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, all right, appreciate it. Sir. Yes, sir. Okay. All right, we're starting to get a little, little out there right now, folks. So, um. Okay, Spirit says he can't call in. Okay, thank you, Spirit. Okay, and uh, uh, okay, uh, one more call. One more call. I think one, this is one of my sponsors. Urban Guitar Legend, you are my last call, sir. Thank you for tapping in. Are you there? Urban Guitar Legend. Yes, sir. Hey, man. Yes, sir. No good problem. To, good, to hear from, you. good to hear from hey. you. Hey. Yeah, the conversation is very interesting. Thank you, man. <laughs> thank you. Very interesting. Um, yeah, I don't think we have much to worry about, just my opinion. I mean, uh, AI is um, it's smart. I just feel like it's not that smart. Okay. I just think we're people are pretty lazy in general. Okay. Um, but, you know, I, I don't know. It's nothing I've, I'm going to worry about in my particular lifetime, I don't think. Um, but all those things you mentioned are possibilities uh, with pregnancy and all that kind of stuff. But, but that, that kind of of stuff is is even being done with you know without ai mm-hmm. i my, it's my personal belief that over the years when people have been getting all these dna tests mm-hmm. when they're like you know they want to find out uh, where they come from and all this other kind of stuff to me that's just people giving away their free genetic information that right. information has already been sold to insurance companies right so right. they they have a fair amount of information on certain people um so they kind of know you know, certain people's health risks and all that. But, um, yeah. Yeah, so I'll follow the money. That's my general <clears throat> consensus. Well, well, listen, man, um, your banner is in my um, community section, and we have a revised banner for you that's in um, – it will be playing in, in, in playing with the jazz music at the end. Tell us about what you do um, and, and how people can get in uh, contact with you. Are you a, a, a guitarist for hire? How long have you been playing? What is your – forte with regards to uh, being a musician please yeah well i'm definitely an artist for hire okay. and um i've been playing guitar for about 30 35 years um <clears throat> i go by the name the urban guitar legend and i'm pretty you know i'm, I'm a solo artist i'm an artist that releases his own music okay. and you know i play shows and festivals and things like that um people can find me almost on any platform under urban guitar legend uh, you know, Spotify, YouTube, Twitter, you know, whatever. And, um, yeah, so, you know, currently we're booking gigs for kind of next spring, maybe some things in the winter, but mainly spring and summer of 2024. So, you know, that's what we'll be doing. <laughs> but the revised banner looks great. And thank you, by the way. That banner looks just phenomenal. Th- thank you. Uh, we're we're going to have that uh, coming up uh, again as so soon as I finish up here, which is going to be, be in about five minutes. Um, with regards to um, y- your your music, is there anything that um, uh, is, is your specialty? Are you a songwriter, a performer? What, 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 is, what are you more passionate about? Some people, you know, like to perform better. Some people appreciate the studio. What is it that you, you know, um, aspire to be more more of? Um, more of a writer and performer of my own solo music. Okay. Um, you know, as an artist and definitely more of a performer, but all of my original music I write, the only song I've ever had published by somebody else was something that I wrote for, uh, one of the guys for 112, the lead singer, Q Parker. Q. He had an album out about 10 years ago. Mm-hmm. And, um, I did a song called Force My Hand with Armando Colon and another guy. You know, okay. um, but uh, that made it onto his solo album on Malico Records. But um, I don't do like a, a whole lot of writing per se for other people. I can, you know, and I, I enjoy collaboration. Okay. But, you know, my style is kind of unique because it combines jazz, blues, rock, hip hop into kind of a fusion. And um, I kind of call it cinematic urban music because it just kind of has a cinematic kind of movie kind of flair. Um, with a bunch of, you know, guitar solos all over the place. Um, but, yeah, that's that's my shtick, cinematic. Who, who are your influences, you uh, before you go, who, who who made you want to pick up the guitar? I mean, if, if I had to uh, 
point out who made me pick up that mm -hmm. bass guitar. You know, Mark Adams from the band Slave, uh, 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 Bernard Edwards from mm -hmm. Chic, uh, Aaron Mills from Cameo, mm -hmm. John Antwistle from The Who, and of course, Bootsy Collins and, and mm -hmm. Oscar Alston from the Stone City Band. Who made you pick up that guitar and say, this, this is wow. my life right here? Well, oddly enough, it, it wasn't a particular person. It was a movie called Crossroads with uh, Ralph Macchio and Steve Vai, Joe Seneca, Jamie Gertz back okay. in like 88, I think, 87, yeah. <laughs> 88. And that, that movie with all the classical guitar parts that were played by William Kenningeiser, a uh, very renowned classical guitarist, and the blues parts uh, by uh, what was a guy named Ry Cooter. So it was all those guitar parts in, those movie, in that movie and the big finale at the end with Steve Vai and all that kind of stuff, that, those guitar parts, that's what kind of really made me want to pick up the guitar. But mm -hmm. I think that whole summer, like HBO had a bunch of musician-type mm -hmm. movies. They had uh, Richie Valance La Bamba. They had the Buddy Holly story. And then they had Crossroads. So between those, like, three movies, the Buddy Holly story, you know, I had a big thing with Buddy Holly for, like, a whole two summers. Okay. And, um, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so, but... Uh, I saw Steve Vai... That movie... I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I saw Steve Vai in Madison Square what? Garden with David Lee Roth. I think it was the Eat em and Smile tour. I'm, I'm, I'm super jealous. I'm super freaking jealous of that. <laughs> that, that. That was like the ultimate trio band with... Yeah. Billy Biff, Sheen on bass. Biff and that Steve Vai. Billy Sheen on yeah, bass. Yeah, that, that, that band, that tour, that was like the tour to see. Yeah. Like that... Hello, hello, you there? Hello? I'm, I'm talking history. Go ahead, go ahead. Like, yeah, can you hear me? Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, I, I saw them. Oh, the, it was the first album because the second album, Billy Sheehan left because it just, it, 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 yeah, it was sky, too commercial for him. But Skyscraper. Skyscraper, but holy yeah, sky, shit, the first album. Yeah, Skyscraper, album, the band broke down. Yeah, first mm -hmm. album, Madison Square yeah. Garden. I, I took a bump of coke and woo! He was a motherfucker live, Steve Vai. He was a motherfucker live. Man, I'm I, like I said, I'm jealous because that was the tour to see all yeah. the tunes, all the tunes uh, on that album. Yeah. You know, uh, uh, Tobacco Road was that Great. was actually written about Augusta, Georgia. Believe it or not, Great album, yeah. Um, yeah. All the tunes on on that album are just funky. I mean, mm -hmm. funky rock guitar. Yeah, funky. Yeah, yeah. Um, wow, I'm jealous. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, but but yeah, but after that, <laughs> after I got into guitar. All the big influences from West Montgomery, George Benson, Jimi West Hendrix. West Montgomery. You know, I wow. started to get into those guys. Yeah, yeah. 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 Okay. Hey, wow. man. Great to hear from you. Um, your banner is coming up next. Sit tight. Now, do you have a wrench for that live chat? I want to make sure that you can post your links in that live chat. Yeah, I okay. do. I do. Okay. And I, I'll do that now. Okay. I appreciate yeah. you, man. Let's get you back on the line next week, all right? Thank you for your, your support. Okay. Okay. No problem. Thank you, bro. Okay, thank All you. Right. Uh, thank you, sir. It's, it's sir. okay, sir. man. I got you. I got sir. you. Thank you, man. Thank you. All right. Okay. <laughs> All right.